TV sets, don't alter your eyes. The players are indeed all standing up, ready for action. The stand-up game is in the mix. I am Andrew Headley in the booth. As always, with my partner in crime, the one and only Mr. Jay Harwood. Good evening, Jay. How are we doing, my friend? Good evening, Andrew. Doing well, as always. Looking forward to some Friday night poker action. And once again, great lineup ahead of us. Got some familiar faces, got some new faces, which is always great to see. Going to run you through the lineup. Who's going to be with us this evening? In one, we are going to have Andy Hume, also known as Stato. In two is Ann Owo. In three, Jack O'Neill. Four is Carl Shaw. Five is Scully. Maurizio Pius in six and Gabriel in the seven seat and I believe we are going to get that empty seat filled at some point uh, with the ongoing tournament this evening I think we'll have someone jump in when that finishes or when they bust out lovely stuff I know yeah a little mystery contender coming into seat eight later on well no time for any more banter from me and you, Jay, because Anthony Owo has found aces under the gun in the early going here of the stand-up game. Looks like most players sitting in with £5,000. As we see Anthony open the action with... Look at that. The rockets. Get them, it's light work. Oh, great little hand to look down at to start proceeding, especially with stand up game. Goes for a meaty 700 pound size in trying to get action, doesn't get any. You gotta love Friday night poker. Let's let's have a little 14 times the big blind open. Anthony takes his seat. As you can see, guys, stand up game is on. Each player will commit 200 pounds, and whoever loses the stand up game and doesn't manage to get their seat oh, will pay the rest of the table yeah we're looking forward to this one some poker royalty jay some tournament poker players for the most part getting in the mix you referenced stato in seat one and jack o'neill in seat three both went very deep in the world series main event last year so looking yeah. forward to see how how do you reckon they're going to adjust, Jay, against some of the chaos that we see on Friday Night Poker? <laughs> I'm not sure about Stato, but I do know that Jack O'Neill plays a fair amount of cash alongside the tournament right. grind. So I think uh, he'll be in his element. He's used to playing some higher stakes cash games. So I think Jack will be fine. But Stato's one I've done endless commentary on for tournament poker, but I don't think I've ever got to cover Stato in a cash game. So it will be interesting right. to see how he proceeds over the next four or five hours. Yeah, I'm with you. Intrigued to see as we see Gabriel here bumping it up to 200 pounds with the ace deuce. Stato in there with ace 10. Anthony completing 9 6. The potential trouble for Gabriel comes ace jack jack. Stato, of course, with the better kicker. Yeah, and. Uh... Could be a bet from Stato. Could be a check. Let's go with check. Obviously, one of these situations when the ace and the paired board very in front in terms of equity or very behind versus a jack x holding yeah absolutely action does check through deuce of hearts turn giving gabriel the old three pair he is going to announce himself now bets one third part 200 pounds on the turn and just seems like clear call with position for stato is he going for raising chips looks like oh. he is yeah, interesting stuff, Jay. Going to take the betting lead here. Potentially sets his own price in many ways. Can maybe get a read on his opponent as to whether he can go for river value. Deny some draws. Some equity on the turn. Difficult spot, Jay, now, right, for Gabriel with these hard blockers to the board. Yeah, it's a difficult one for us because obviously backdoor hearts is a thing now. Bringing the flusher on the turn, but with his ace is going to call one. And see what Stato does on the river. Just having to play check here out of position. And then over to Stato yeah, whether he thinks he can go for value here or not with the ace 10. Yeah, feels kind of right on the line to me, Jay. Of course, he would beat all other ace X with a kicker below a nine on this board. Does decide to check back. Sets himself that price on the turn. <laughs> And we see you know Mr. What? Holmes take his seat, makes in a pot of 1.9k. So guys, myself and Jay will be covering this cash game for you guys for the next four hours or so. 10, 25, 50 pound stakes. And Jay referenced also in the background, World Series of Poker circuit time at DTD. The main event is on in the background at the moment. And myself and Jay will be bringing you live coverage on Sunday of the final knockings of the main event all the way to the conclusion of the final table. And i got to give a little shout-out, Jay, 
to my boy Dan Charlton bagging the chip lead. Oh, hey, oh, Dan Charlton. Yeah, you love to see it. <laughs> do love to see it. I do love Dan. Uh, one of my favourite people in poker. He's a, he's a great laugh off the table and obviously very good at the table as well. But great person in poker is Dan Charlton and good luck to him going into day two tomorrow for the main event. Yeah, absolutely. So cards back in the air. Here's Gabriel on the button with the suited ace three of clubs. Going to bump it up, makes it 300 to go. Stato going to see a flop or attempt to do so. A couple of players, of course, behind. And well, the dream wrecker, as I like to call him, Mr. Kyle Shaw, wakes up with a real one, Jay. Ace king off in the straddle. Yeah, and the great thing has been Carl. He's got this image that he gets after it a lot. So looks like he is just going to go for send here and <laughs> try and make it look like he's trying to still, still standing up potential to get called light by something like ace 10 ace 9 suited making it look bluffy here from the straddle and gabriel looking very uncomfortable understandably so facing a shove for 5k it's interesting as well whether gabriel's aware of carl's image because first time i've seen him on friday night poker and sometimes when you haven't played with someone before can make it more difficult to come to the correct decision, but correct fold there with the ace three suited, and Carl gets to take his seat. Yeah, gets out of the way. We have referenced that before so many times, Jay, right? Carl can at times be liable to have any two in that spot, but ace three suited, not quite strong enough to flick it in for Gabriel. So Gabriel, Scally, and Jack O'Neill seem to be the three remaining players at risk in the stand up game. Great to see Maurizio Pius, absolute beast in yeah. the MTT scene at the poker table. The Ronaldinho of poker, that is what I call him. Because he's so good, he never says anything, but he's always smiling. He's always got that grin on his face. The Ronaldinho is, right? of is. poker, Maurizio Pius. Ronaldinho of poker. My God, Jay, we're coming up with some good nicknames these days. What did we have yesterday? The grey-haired millionaire. Oh, that was the that's not mine, unfortunately. I, I, I know it's not. Sure I know it's not. That one, but you know. Here we are. Yeah, you don't have to tell anyone. We can just <laughs> it, right? Yeah, we could. And then uh, what else did we have? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm claiming the Carl Shaw, the dream wrecker, which I'm loving. I like and that. The Ronaldinho of poker from Maurizio. Yeah, intrigued to see how he gets on. Speaking of getting on, Jack going to complete here with Queen 10 off. And Carl now in the third blind makes it 450. Another real hand for Carl is Queen off. Yeah, makes it 9x though. Big, big sizing. And Jack like is going to come along. Game of factor. Yeah. Okay, stand up game of factor for that's, Jack. You know. That's all it can be, yeah. Flop does come. King 5 deuce. Ace Queen of Carl, still best. Very disconnected board. Goes in for looks like around about half pot. Yeah, it goes with a half pot size, a little larger than normal in this type of board. Queen ten for Jack J. Very difficult to continue here, I would imagine. Yeah, I can't see how we can out of position to call. It's just one of them situations as well. Like even if we float, pick up a straight draw up and down the turn we're still going to be met with a second barrel a lot of the time versus this opponent so just better to just get out of the way and move on to the next hand it does let this one go we see it every week don't we jay this stand-up game it really mud waters and i would imagine i've not played like you've played more than me so it yep uncomfortable sometimes right because you end up deviating from your normal ranges and strategies right like you're not going to yeah. limp call a 10 times big blind raise here with queen 10 off of course as a general rule so does it like that you you might be able to give an insight does it start to feel really un because you find yourself in sort of un territory right that you wouldn't normally be in which yeah, has to make the decisions post quite tough Exactly that, yeah. A lot of the time you're playing bigger pots as well. There'll be bigger opening sizes, bigger sizings on flops. But I think I mentioned it a couple of weeks ago that the key to the stand-up game is getting early. Play wide early, play loose early while there's still eight people on their feet. Don't wait 
until you see two people standing up and you and then start <laughs> opening up and trying to get after it because you realize very soon you're going to have to fork out 1600 right. quid it's uh it's one of these that i think at the start of the stand-up game that's where you want to sort of get in when people sort of guards are down and not really fussed about stopping someone from winning a pot. I haven't focused yet the fact that you're standing. That makes a lot of sense. Well, Jack's trying to get after it here with Queen 4, unfortunately for him. Ronaldinho. The Ronaldinho of Polkart finds Ace Queen, makes it 1.4. Jack forced to get out of the way. Because now you got these three standing, you've got Jack, Gabriel and uh, Scally standing up at the moment and all these three players know they have to win a pot soon and everyone at the table aware of that, whereas at the start of the stand-up game, <laughs> you open the Queen 8 off, like people just think you've got a normal hand because everyone's still on their feet and you're going to have better, uh, they think you can wait for a better hand later on to try and take your seat, but I think the key in this, Andrew, from playing it a lot is, is getting early, why everyone's still yeah. standing up, why the guards are down, try and take your seat don't leave it too late. Oh, yeah, it makes a lot of sense. A delicious dose of nonsense here early on the stream. The stand-up game in play. Round two, Jack. Gonna mix it up, mix it up here and get a limp in with the ace five. Fortunately for him, running into another holding that dominates. Scally makes it six hundred to go with the ace ten off. And this is another adjustment you'll see, especially when few players are standing up. You'll see a lot of open limping start to go on from the players that are still on their feet, just trying to get in cheap, see a flop, and proceed from there. And Jack going to go for limp call here with position with the ace five. Inflated pot once more is dominated by Scally's ace ten. Not anymore, Jay. Eight five five on the flop. Jack O'Neill flops the most disguised of trips. Scally, relatively dry board for him, bets 500 into 1.4. Yeah, I don't think we want to do any raising this, Jack. Still got position. We'll be able to get the chips in by the river. Just from court, want to keep bluffs of Scally in. Hands that can be drawing nigh on dead in terms of equity. We can see Scally with just 1%, Jay, as you just referenced. Now drawing dead. Very uncomfortable spot for him, but he is going to continue to barrel. Bets 1k on this turn. Shade under half. Yeah, and I think uh, story the same as Jack. Just cool, and we're going to get the money from over pairs on the river anyway. Keep bluffs in as well. But maybe with what's in the pot, Jack actually might be thinking about just going this here. If we call the 1k, going to be going to the river with like 0.4 SPR. But it's just going to Continue setting the trap with his opponent drawing dead. Yeah, I think it makes a lot of sense. We do have that lovely little ace of spades in there also blocking some flush draws of Scally. And Scally has sent it in there as the triple barrel block. Let's go, Scally. I love it. I know it didn't work, but love the heart. Capable with the triple barrel. Good to see early on. Yeah, really unlucky to be fair. You are going to get some folds by some one pair type holdings, like a nine or an eight. Fortunately for him, Jack with the buzzsaw, the ace five, he gets the additional bonus of getting to take his seat. Takes down the biggest pot of the night thus far, 8.4k. So folks, hope you are enjoying your Friday. Welcome along, myself, Andrew Headley and Jay Harwood calling the action on Friday Night Poker. And Jay, we've got a little giveaway for the people watching at home that we're going to do later in the stream. Oh, we do love a giveaway. We do love a giveaway. What we got? What we got, Andrew? What we got? We have a $125 satellite ticket to the Mediterranean Poker Party. We were talking about that yesterday. It's going to take place in early May out at the Merit Complex in Cyprus. So, yeah, $125 flight to, MPP, to that MPP satellite ticket. And we will need your GG username. That's going to be taking place online on GG Poker. Details to follow, guys. Myself and Jay will come up with, you know, something to test your grey matter. Or something pretty dumb and simple, Jay, depending on how we're feeling at the time. We will see as the night progresses what we're going to do. As we see Gabriel here just moving with the ace-queen and with the stand-up game on. Big fan of this. 
essentially 1600 extra in the middle from what we'd have to pay up from the stand-up game swing so the jam here with ace queen just seems very good and hold the phone because Scally is praying that Carl flicks this in because he's about to pay 1600 pounds out after losing that big one early doors and news for Scally pay the table my friend yeah, yeah, you had me good. Yeah. I think, right? That's the stand-up game done? Yeah, yeah. Yep, stand-up game done. Everyone okay, sat right. down now. <laughs> I'm sure it will be called on again later in the night. You usually see four or five stand-up games on Friday night poker as the evening progresses. Scally still all smiles even after losing £200 bounty to all of the table. Table yeah. yeah. negotiates so the old seven deuce game. Looks like double straddles are on Jay. But you'll look good if you win. Just like. Yeah, you don't get any money. Uh, yeah, fast yeah, and furious. Crazy, Action on Jack O'Neill. 7 8 off. Let me get out of the way. Yeah, Carl not folding the King 8 suited. In with the open. Round to Scally on the button. Tumultuous start for him, but does wake up with a real one. Pocket Queens. Small 3 bit in position. Like this sizing, makes it 1k. And King 8 suited for Carl. At this stack depth, out of position. May just be folding, but it's Carl Shaw and does love to see free cards and try and blast his opponents off pots. Not really the board we're looking for. Absolutely. Jack 10 6 with two spades. Scally with that overpair. Queen of spades also in hand. Working with around about one and a half pots. May look to play this one as a two streeter, Jay. It does go meaty. 1.4. And Carl, just king high. And we're ready to go. Lays it down. I'm, I'm picking that up from you, Jay. The meaty sizing. Oh, I love it. <laughs> we're going to start finishing each other's sentences. That, that, that will be the case, I'm sure. <laughs> To be fair, I haven't heard the word tumultuous in a while, and then you pulled it hey, out, did you out like that one? about a minute ago. I nearly had the call cool Stato up to get a definition. Technically, you should have been stood up for that, so your hand should be dead, really. You know me, mate. You know me. It was, uh, it, it was actually funny um, in Blackpool. This was about a year and a half, half ago, and uh, you know Stato was runner-up in Countdown Champions of Champions. Uh, was he really? Back. Yeah, he's, he's one of the, the best countdown players of all time. He's, he's a genius, that man. Is that right? And, and, uh, I, know he, I know he's an incredibly smart man. I, I did not know he'd been on countdown. He's gone up in my estimation even further. And uh, we were just chatting after, after an event, a few beers at the bar, and I, I can't remember why, but I used the word soliloquy in a sentence, and Stato Ooh. piped up. He got, he got so happy. He goes, wow, I never thought I'd hear the word soliloquy when I left the house today. But he, he's the man. I'm surprised you never knew that uh, about Stato. I did Stato. not know that. Yeah. yeah. You can go and watch uh, the archive countdowns on YouTube, probably on about 20-plus episodes is the man. Right. You hold the fort. I'll be back in half an hour. <laughs> Back to the action. Right, back Jack. to the action indeed. We see Anthony here with an extremely light peel pre. Jack 6 0. Scally had opened ace 8. And he goes with lead. He just takes this one down, Jay. Yeah, top pair. Just putting some chips in. Does the trick. Yeah, we've enjoyed Anthony as a new addition to Friday Night Poker. Loves to get in the mix. We've seen him on our last couple of weeks of the Cash Game stream. You never quite know what he's going to do, Jay. You know, his ranges are a little, a lot wider than standard. Yeah, I think just one of those that happy to see a flop if he catches a piece, wants to see more cards and not afraid to put some chips in as a bluff either, as we saw a few weeks back as Anthony. How many, how many get through, yeah, makes for great viewing for us. So we see the action folding around. Round two Jack in the third blind. 10-5-0. Oh. 
He's just going to give Carl a walk. He's playing darts. He's playing darts. <laughs> playing darts yeah, he's got some darts tournament or something that he's going to. He played yesterday. It's like a deal, you see. I take the little ones, he takes the big ones. You play lots of rats? Nice, nice agenda. Bed. What, dark? <laughs> <laughs> nah, we, no, it was shut, yeah. He was on about going, then he stood looking the car park for ages. Played snooker in the end instead for about an hour, and he just... Yeah. Nah, just that random place up. I don't know what. Well, around the back Hidden street. spot, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like place. It's a good place to go with a pocket full of cash. I didn't have any cash. I left it here. He, uh... He had a strop and we left after three frames. I think he scored a total of six points. And I gave him plenty of chances as well. Arch back in the air. 50. Bunch to fold. Time to answer in the small he blind. Scored, he scored six points. But that, well, he scored a few Another points, scored iteration of Jack points. Six. six. He's going to complete. So it wasn't like you going in off. So as does Jack. Carl <laughs> content to check. <laughs> Three fairly weak holdings. Flop is ace, three eight, with two hearts. Carl flops best with bottom pair. Let's check over to, in fact, Jack gonna take a stab here at Jay with some back doors wrapping around that eight. Yeah, it seems fairly nice as Jack here, like Carl will do a lot of raising with ace X, blind on blind on blind action, and maybe we make the assumption Anthony will as well from the small, so essentially two over cards to the eight and some nice back doors. Yeah, not the turn that Jack was looking for. Deuce of diamonds. There may be one that we do shut down on. Yeah. Oh, Going to have some turns that we continue on, but I don't think the deuce is one much better for Cole here in the third blind. Yeah, it makes a lot of sense. Action does go check, check. Carl content to try and hunt showdown. Fairly inconsequential. King of spades, river. Unlikely for Jack to have too, too many... King X in hand, but he is going to go for the, the old bet check, bet line J, bets 300. Yeah, and tough spot for Carl, because I expect Jack to value bet some 8X here on the river as played, and uh, does right. just let the free go. Yeah, very nice pickup from Jack. Incredibly experienced player, as we know. These can be the differences, Jay, right? Finding these little kind of somewhat non-natural feeling river bluffs, you know, in these spots. Yeah, very well, very well telegraphed from Jack. Picks up a small one. Nah, by the time we booked it, it was full. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we got some. Whatever everyone's comfortable. What is it? Yeah. I'll go 200. 200 flip. And then we're getting the nip buttons out, yeah? What's that? What's going on? Nip burning serve stand. It's basically the same thing, but. Oh, yeah, yeah. Just the buttons and stuff. What's going on? Everyone puts 200 in every dealer change and we do a flip. A flip? Yeah, six cards. Can we sweat again? Can we all turn? Oh, holy. Six, seven, uh, six, five. Can do. And then after the. No, 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 no,
And that's going to give Maurizio the stones on the turn, just fading board pairs. And with everything that's out there, it doesn't look like it's going to pair. Set of fours, set of fives, all the kings accounted for. And Maurizio will be taking this one down. Just a six car PLO flip. 200 pound in, run out to the river. Maurizio takes the spoils. The old carnival game on dealer change here on Friday Night Poker. You know me, Jay, don't you? I'm like a purist. So yeah. it, it, it makes me uncomfy. I, I took a bit of offence to that. I'm not going to lie. Carnival game, that's what I play mostly six well, carnival. What are you trying to say? If the shoe fits, my friend. <laughs> I've actually been delving down, my friend, and trying to learn a little bit of the old PLO. Great game. It is. It, it is exciting. Delve into it. It's a. It's a really great game. It's like only two more games. And some subtle nuances. Absolutely. Versus no limit, as we see. Mauricio gets out of the way with Queen Eight. Gabriel. Finds pocket queens in the hijack. You can bump it up, make it 200 to go. And round two, Anthony, we did reference. He is action, Jay, and he's in there with deuce three off on the button. Don't Getting try this at home. <laughs> Getting in the mix with the nut low, love it. And uh, Carl Ace five off here in the big blind. Does love these sort of offsuit high lows, Carl, in a cash game. And there we go, makes it 900 reaches and puts it puts in 900 music to the ears of gabriel sitting there with a premium yeah, it's a mandatory really. send jay mandatory yeah send this one no room to go for a four bet not all in size so only option for us as gabriel is to say the words i'm all in we'll be working in the chips go gabriel all in 4k effective Carl, unfortunately for him, hands in cookie jar, snap folds with the ace five. What are my odds with two three off? I want to play, bro. I want to play. Try the Vinny hands. It'll come two two three. back in the air. Anthony Owo, ace four, raised to 300. Interesting little spot here for Jack, Jay, with the king nine of diamonds. Looks like he's landed on three bet. Yeah, it does perform very well as a three bet. Cutter versus button. We fold out all these like ace x, offsuit ace x, like Anthony has hand with good equity, good playability with position. Well, I say we fold them out, but Anthony Owo, we know, we know he loves it. Yeah. <laughs> Likes to see a flop. And he's going to call out a position. Does actually have the best of it with ace high. Inflated pot. 1.9k in there. And how about that for a board for Anthony Ace. Jack four. Rainbow flops top and bottom. Jack with just king high. No, no backdoor flush possibilities. Yeah, I'm hoping that Anthony does check this over to Jack. And board that we're going to see high frequency C bets on from the three bets up. And Jack going to come in for a quarter pot. Anthony decides to immediately spring the trap and rip it in. Possible potential to slow play that one, Jay? Yeah, I think uh, the best avenue is to just call, just recognizing that it's a board that Jack will continue relentlessly on. We're going to get the money versus ace, king, ace, queen anyway. Right. Um, so we just want to keep some bluffs in the stuff like king queen king 10 queen 10 some suited king x this type of stuff that drawing non-dead in terms of equity 
but then maybe might have thought about his image as Anthony thinking that he's going to get paid light up but Jack would just king high had to flick it into the muck as it stands nice pick up for Anthony and why I, th I thought Anthony was picking up chips there. Jay with the 10 3 off does go into the muck. Action folding around. And to Gabriel in a race with a 7. Stato, nothing to defend. Do you know much about this man? Andrew, Gabriel. I don't. I've, I don't. I'm gonna. I, I think we're gonna have to put out a call to our <laughs> minions in the background and find out. I think I've played with him live a few times. Right. Okay. I don't know too much about him. He's a little bit of an enigma. Have you ate at the Mayfair? Let's find out. I'm gonna. Mayfair. I'm gonna. I'm gonna put some fuelers out. No. So, yeah. So like dancers. Nah. I mean, oh, is it nightclub? Oh, the nightclub. No, nah, not nightclub. It's just like dancers. Good I think food. It's quite it's probably, yeah, it's probably, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, I probably knew then at this point, yeah. <laughs> the Bladjo wasn't there when he went. Just next to the Thunderbirds. So fucking hell. I'm on about New Vegas, see Carl Vegas. In, in the cutoff, 10 7 of spades. <laughs> Round two, Anthony in the straddle. What a nice hand to defend. King Jack flicks in the call. I want to go back to see that MSG, King in the window, followed by a 7 and a 5. All clubs need a player with club in hand. It'll pair for Carl. Yeah, and generally, going to have some smaller sizes on the mono board. It yeah. looks like Carl going for 400, which is south of two thirds. Very interesting. A little larger than normal in these spots. Perhaps looking to generate more immediate folds as it stands. Anthony, top pair, of course, going nowhere as yet. Check calls. Queen of Spades on the turn. Anthony still best. Yeah, in a turn that expect Anthony just to be playing check still over the car one. Probably one that Carl should be checking back, essentially turning our seven into a bluff if we elect to go for another barrel. Does just that. River pairs Queens. Could be a tricky one here for Carl. You know, all of the sort of one club holdings, Jay, that Anthony has check called. Could be liable to bluff. Makes it a little tricky when we face a river bet. He's found a big size. Yeah. And I think a tough one to fall for Carl, as you mentioned. Anthony in the straddle going to be defending stuff like 6-4, six, 6-8, six, six. All these hands right. with a club in there seems like the ones that want to bluff. Or even something as simple as like Jack-10 off with a club. Something like that. Obliged to bluff on the river and can't fault Carl for paying this with a 7. Nice bit of value from Anthony on the end. Yeah, very nicely done from Anthony. Gets paid. Two thirds pot. Carl deciding has to bluff catch this you know one. Risky, Unfortunately for him, no good. Lovely little start good. here on the stream for Mr. Owo. I didn't have a club. But I think I call anyway. Only you though, I only pay you off. Only you. I believe you. <laughs> no one else. I only pay you. Nah, I only pay. I'm sure there's a few others you pay. Yeah, probably everyone, to be honest. <laughs> I like to pay. <laughs> so, my 50. I like to play. It's me. I like the fun and games. Cards back in the air. Carl, back at it. King 9 off in the hijack. Picks up a call from Scally in the cutoff with Queen Jack off. And here goes Maurizio J deciding Ace Jack is a lovely little spot to squeeze. We can see his timing pretty good. Well, I spoke too soon. Commentator's curse. Jack O'Neill cold finds Queens here in the straddle. Yeah, I can't account for this as Maurizio. Everything seems perfect. The free bet, the size in, unfortunately, just running into it behind we just assume Carl opening super wide Scally's always free betting a strong hand so it seems like a mandatory squeeze for Maurizio but now Jack O'Neill might just go for send here it's kind of awkward it's a really annoying stack size here like if we had 1500 less clear send 
we had 1500 more clear four bet not all in so sort of right in that limbo area here is jack or what to do and is actually going to take the four bet not all in approach with the ladies yeah don't mind this at all you know jack everybody knows very experienced player can be capable of finding a bluff here we can see he has it on this occasion just going to click it makes it 2.4k to go Pretty grim spot now, Jay, for Maurizio with just Ace-Jack off facing this action. Yeah, absolutely hating it. And we are getting three and a half to one on a call cool in position here. That can be absolutely dead versus Aces. Jack with a very small size in. And Maurizio is just going to relinquish the Ace-Jack. Could fall from him. Nice pick up from Jack O'Neill uncontested. When you did that, was like a nice start here for Jack. This time. <laughs> Pretty unfortunate for Mauricio to run into such a big hand behind. In any case, Jack takes it down. Yeah, very tough opponent, Mauricio. Tight, aggressive. That's what you'll get from him. Scally has found the kings here. Or as Moorman likes to call them, the butchers, because they do nothing but break your heart. And he comes, though, from the hijack. You heard that one, Jay, the butchers? I, I, I know I know the king of spades oh, is, no. is, 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 is the butcher. Or it's like, that's called the butcher, the king of spades. I have no idea why, but I know the king of spades is called the butcher. But I have no idea why. <laughs> Look at this, Jay. I did say they break your heart. I'm very sorry, <laughs> Scally. I appear to have boxed. Stato makes it 1k. Anthony here with Queen Jack of Clubs looks interested. Yeah, one this is going to get dicey very quickly if he continues, Jay. Yeah, it's one that should be folding here after this action in front of us. It's very frustrating, such a beautiful looking prospect, but has to go into the muck. The, if we were like super deep, like 400 plus deep to start the hand, we could actually use that to cold four, but yeah in this situation has to I let it go that. and <laughs> just assume this is getting in between scully and stato see? See what I mean? brutal cooler underway here on friday night poker scully sends the chips in of course can't fault it stato snaps it off with the best of it just a shade under 10k in the middle jay yeah, pair over pair the pre-flop call up pair of vowels for Stato, pair of consonants for Scally. <laughs> Very nice. Scally going to look to have to find one of the remaining king. Kings and aces. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Safe, safe. Nine of clubs. Ten, three, six. No good thus far for Scally. Four is no hell. Two outs once. Him to find one of those butchers, and he oh. finds Jay on the river. On the river, the butcher on the river, not just any butcher, ah. the butcher, <laughs> the king of spades, rolling off. Two out are on the river. That's why we went silent. He did just run it once, Jay, and Scally, after a pretty unfortunate start to the stream, finds the two outer. What a run out! He's made me look a fool, Jay. I said, the butchers, they do nothing but break your heart. But he's found it. Nice hand, Scally. I think we need a new nickname for the Kings. Right. Can we do a stand-up game now? That's the spirit. That's the fucking spirit. I'm so pissed off I booted the right box out of the... Is that your wallet? Yeah, that's the deal of box. Try to reload. Let's get these buttons out then, lads. Okay. Yeah, it's um. Yeah. Excuse me, can you give everyone a button? Green one, yeah. Midway stand up game. And then when the dealer comes, we've got to do it again. 
It's the same as what we've just done, but it's a stand up. But, well, lucky, aren't we? but it's on, we leave it on the line. What could you do? No, I'm literally telling you. Once you win it, once you win it, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, just we do yeah. it again. We right, reset time. time. You win the stand up game. Yeah. Appears to have been renegotiated. <laughs> Come out so nice. All players yeah, will receive a button, guys, in front of them. So they're not actually going to stand up, but you will see the little yellow marker next to each player's name. And the stand up game is off them. That button will be removed by the dealer. The last person to be standing, as such, is £200 to the rest of the table. Always generates a lot of action for us here on our live stream game. See that little yellow circle next to the names of the players. If you, if you pay it three times in a row, well, it's actually a joke. Yeah, it never happens. <laughs> Action on Maurizio. Everyone should be giving you the money. 10-4-0. I like that squid one where you get squid. There's so many different chips on the table now, Jay. Didn't even know it was him to go. Yeah, that's it. And who, this is what I mean. Who on earth looks down at the 10-4 10 off and is still smiling? <laughs> Never stop smiling, Mauricio. Love seeing it. Stato now getting back after it. Carl, you never quite know what he's going to do. And here he comes. Three bets with the 10 5 off. Makes it 1.5k to go. Absolutely relentless. Stand up game on. Yeah, stand up, down. stand up, game pro. Knows the drill. Get in early, take your seat, and then we can just sit back and relax. Ring, ring. <laughs> Very nicely timed. It's the infamous bluff bell. Makes its first appearance of the evening. Action on Gabriel now with the 3-4 off. We did a little dig in, Jay. I don't know too much about him. I know he's Canadian. And I know he, I've had a little look into the old Hendon mob, trying to get some clues. He's had a cash of 180k in a live nice. comp. We're going to have some experience, but I think he's pretty new to Dustal Dawn, so we'll have to... No decisions here from the small, just the standard squeeze, nice big meaty sizing out of position. And do expect this to be working versus Stato and Anthony's holdits. I like watching Anthony, you never quite know. He's on peel the three bit earlier with ace four off. Doesn't like to fold, Jay, but is going to get out of the way. Jack live as well. It was live. His effective live. seat. As well. Dark cards versus rid of that stand-up button. Cards back in the air. Stato once more in the, the hijack. This size down a little here, makes it 200 to go. Anthony in there, Jack 8 suited in the cutoff. Jack going to overcall King 7. That's a position on the button. Scali also completes with the 7 4 0. Oh. Besides stand up game in play. A relatively cheap price. He's in there. Flop is Jack. 9-10 rainbow. Anthony flops best. Top pair with an open-ended straight draw. Stato. Draw into Broadway. Jack yeah. with a double gutter. Yeah, I do like the check here from Stato. Optimistic to see better into field of three players. One that we can just 
play check call with if met from a bet behind. And we are from Anthony, who bets two thirds with his top pair and up and down. Yeah, going to be a test for Stato. You know, Anthony, typically you don't see too many large sizes multi wage, right? And it's just a relatively weak top pair for Anthony. Stato thinks he has a little too much equity here to fold, even versus the big size. Makes the call. Turn is the jack of clubs. Anthony improves to trips. And do expect this to be end of hand. Anthony looks like going to send in another barrel here. And now Stato can't call with the ace queen. Just going to have to let it go on to the next hand. Anthony shows the jack. He's got to show the eight as well. Otherwise, he won't take his oh. seat, though. Oh, oh. <laughs> 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 Just in time. It's, it's almost like you can hear you, Jason. So I showed him Eli's of the dealer there. I know, I know. As soon as, as, soon as I have, I have a feeling that's going to be you in Cyprus, Andrew, <laughs> at the buffet. There's one sausage left. I'm just about to pick it up. Your hand will come in. I'm having that. Yeah, it's not good at all. Excuse me, are you calling me a greedy individual who would steal your the one sole sausage left at the buffet? I'm not saying anything. I'm not saying anything. You give my man a ticket off. Quickly realised that Anthony could potentially save him £1,400 before that ham was dished into the muck half the show if you want to take your seat in the stand-up game. And if you don't... Poker players, Jay, they just want to dish out cruel and unusual punishments. Like, you win the hand, you're like, brilliant. I'm, I'm, I've got my seat. And then, you know, they're going to punish you for not turning over both. I love it, really. Speaking of loving it, the butchers are back. Jack in the cutoff. You have action developing here, Jay. Here comes Carl with call and Scally. Finds ace queen behind. Do you know what reminded me? Yeah, he once again, troubled waters. Has the three bet here though. As Scally, no questions asked. Cut off open button flat. Easy three bet with the ace queen. Unfortunately, running into top end of Jack as the opener. Uh, nice sizing from Scally. 1.4k. About to be faced, that's, that's rules, I would suggest, with rules. a tough decision when the action gets back round to Jack O'Neill. <laughs> Can we read yeah. something in, Jay? The fact that Jack has already clicked, right? When he had queens before, we saw him choose this non-all-in size, may go for it again. Yeah, I think this one's a lot more standard at this stack depth. Uh, before was slightly more shallow, so could have had argument for the all-in. But in this scenario, I think we only have the four-bet not-all-in size in here. With the Kings slightly too much to just be shoving, I think probably going to go for a similar size that we saw against Maurizio around 2.8, 2.9k. Seems nice as Jack. And this is going to be tough for Scali. Stand up game, of course, on, although Jack has already taken his seat. Looks to have gone even smaller, Jay. 2.7. Quickly called from Scally, and we have a 6k pot in progress pre flop. Big flop incoming. And how about that? Top set for Jack O'Neill. King 6 3 with two diamonds. Has Scally close to dead. Could be argument for checking here with King of Diamonds in hand as Jack and working with right. literally 1.1 SPR here. Could definitely be argument for checking. We can still get it in over two streets on Turn and River. But if we do bet, going to be tiny size this Andrew here, I expect. Probably like a 20% up. Has it gone with that idea in mind? Around about the 15% mark. Unfortunately for him, Scally just ace high. Quickly gets out of the way. Another nice pot though for Jack O'Neill. He's fishing a lot over here, I can't lie. Winning all these big ones. <laughs> Come on, give me some splashy flex. You know I need splashy flex. Come on. I feel like seeing a lot. Do you need pink so you're all right? Come on. 
Don't, don't give him. Yeah, no, they don't kill you first. Can't be. What's that? So don't give him. Yeah. Start throwing him. Ah, yeah. <laughs> Isn't that all you want? Do you want to give me a stack of pinks as well? Yeah, yeah. Two. Guys, if you are just joining us, welcome along. Friday night poker, World Series of Poker Circuit Edition. World Series of Poker Circuit events going on in the background. We'll bring you some news about those later on. This is our Friday night poker lineup. £10, £25, £50 stakes. Big pots in progress. We look forward to more of the same as the night continues. You're enjoying the coverage, guys, and enjoying your evening. Myself, Andrew Headley, and Mr. Jay Harwood call in the action. As we see, call from Gabriel, call from Maurizio with the Queen Six of Clubs. We're going four ways. Scali and Stato complete the lineup. Ace, nine, eight with two hearts. Scali with the best of it here. Top pair. Middle pair for Stato. Bottom pair for Gabriel. He's going to stab here. Gabriel limped pot. Stand-up game, of course, on. Looking to thin the field or potentially take it down. Bets just a shade over half. A top-notch fold there from Stato, by the way. I know yeah. it doesn't seem that difficult, but just folding middle pair, just recognising someone betting into the field here, still with two players behind, just lets it go with a 9-6. Scully with top pair, obviously can't go anywhere. He makes the call with position. And Gabriel slows it down, and Scali takes that as the green light, deciding his hand is best. Going to go ahead, 250 here into 450. Yeah, and tough one for Gabriel here. Obviously needs to think about what hands we think Scali is going to be limping on the button. And probably will have all this like Jack-10, Queen-Jack, heart draws in there, 6-7 suited, which we are technically in front of here with our eights. Yeah, is going to keep him honest. And how about that? Drills the eight of diamonds on this river. That's got to feel good. Right. And finds check. Look to induce some bluffs or some thin value from Scally. Very nicely timed check back from Scally. Gabriel, little puff of the cheeks. Disappointed to see his opponent not bet an ace on this river. Takes down a pot of 1k. He gets rid of the stand-up button. That yeah, seems like a nice check back from Scali. Chopping with all other ASEX. And difficult to get paid from a nine for free street. So understand sure. the reasoning. Hard to get called by worse. Going for value there. Nah, no way. Nicely navigated yeah. by Scali. Not for me, that one. Gamble, gamble, man. <laughs> yeah, it's been working out well, isn't it? <laughs> Life's too short, man. Gamble, gamble. Throw well, uh, <laughs> it in, man. The, uh, After it's finished. Action falls round to Carl. King six of clubs in the hijack. Gonna bump it up. Quickly called by Scally. The king eight of diamonds. Round to Stato. Content to complete. King seven of hearts from the big blind. Anthony here with sevens. Is it just going to land on call? Yeah, awkward one for Anthony whether to squeeze or not after an open and two calls with sevens. Likely to have the best hand, especially against a call open. But then do we really want to navigate out of position in what would be like a 3k pot if we do get call from behind? So just going to play cool, try and flop a set. Makes a lot of sense. Flop is Jack 410 with two diamonds. Nobody flopping a pair. Scally though, King High Diamonds. Can go a couple of ways here. Jay is gonna decide to take the aggressive route. 800 here into around about 1.3. I'd be surprised if this didn't work as Scally. Anthony two overcards to contend with now and does just let it go. Expect Carl Short to be doing the same. And the King Six suited. Does he have nefarious intentions in mind? Never quite know with Carl, but he is getting out of the way. Well, 
there's nothing worse than getting that look when you when you put a bet in and you're, you're light and then Carl sort of looks over at your stack, looks at his stack and uh, you're thinking, oh no, it's coming. But on that occasion, Scally gets it through with a King 8 suited. Did actually have the best of it versus Carl specifically. That does get to take his seat in the stand-up game. A very nice rally from Scally. I like it's that it. tough one. I know, right? I didn't even. I didn't. I just landed on that one. I had that tough spot early doors against Jack, where he tripled it off very reasonably, and then but did get there with that river two outer against Stato, beginning to increase that stack. Great guy, Scally. A lot of fun to be around. Somebody play. As we await somebody to take seat eight. I'm rhyming constantly now, Jay, for no apparent reason. <laughs> Are you doing it? I know. I don't know what's going on. As you see, guys, the running totals, top of your screen. Stato, after getting two outered with those aces, I think it's the loser of the game currently. Jack O'Neill up the best part of 7.5k. Mauricio Gabriel holding steady. And up game still on, which is why Mauricio going to get in there with the 10 deuce. Gabriel calls behind with sixes. Down to Carl. 6-4 off in the straddle. Here he comes, does he? No, he doesn't. Just completes. Thought he was reaching for a plaque. The complete with 6-4. Ten, seven, five. Action, flop, in progress. Top here for Mauricio. Of course, that dusty little deuce as his kicker. Trying to take his seat in the stand-up game. Is going to see bet this one. Aaron could be going three way to the turn here. I think Gabriel will probably take one off with the sixes here with the backdoor straight draw in position. And then Carl won't be going anywhere with his up and down. Yeah, Carl with the decision point now, Jay. Ever taken an aggressive stance here? Or, or hands, just decide our hand's a little too good? Don't want to don't want to get shoved on if we raise. That's just yeah, complete. I think that is the problem. If we ever do go for the, the raise and there's a free bet, we're in a world of hurt. Does just go with Paul. Catches the four on the turn. Very interesting stuff. Carl now checks it over once more. Mauricio... Deciding, don't want to put more chips in here with just a weak top pair. Gabriel with the decision now, Jay, of whether to start running a potential bluff. Yeah, or do we spot, just take a free one? Spot on, Andrew. It's uh, one of these decision points where if we fire turn, we have to barrel river. Uh, otherwise, we just want to check turn and take our equity. But the fact that Gabriel is going for a bullet here on the turn, I'd love to see him unload on the river here. Wow, and here oh. he comes, Carl. What a great play this is, folks. Jams wow. it at 10.6. Yeah, and what about a hand choice as well? Don't get much better than that. Blocking yeah, some two pairs, blocking the straight. Very nice move from Carl there with the 6-4 off. Top quality stuff. Great hand selection as well. The hand we want to use, the hand that blocks both straights and stuff like two pairs and sets. Great choice of holding. And, and another a, another good thing as well, we, we have the six of spades in our hands, so like we're not going to get calls from like a nine six of spades, a, a six, seven, ten, or whatever. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly that. So very nice stuff from Carl. Great hand. Credit to all players there. At, like that turn bluff from Gabriel, you know, just pretty unfortunate to run into an aggressive player who's capable of finding a rebluff themselves. Nice hand. Flip, baby, flip. So I've achieved one of my goals by not losing on the stand-up game. Now I just need to win a flip. Do you see the chip counts in front of you? Wait, it's supposed to be You're actually talking to me. I'm actually at a two out. I was looking past you actually. Yeah, but I'm actually at a two out on the river. I can achieve all my goals in poker and whatnot. Yeah, I think Andy deserves to win this. I do. You're right. 
There you go. Five. If I was, if yeah, I, if he I won't win though. It, we all know that. I'd give you the money. If I'm not. I'm just not turning. If someone said they got the nuts, <laughs> yeah, it's more fun when no one's got the nuts. Yeah. <laughs> to turn over. There we go. Hello. That's a very good start. Turn a few over. So another six card PLO, two hundred pound flip. Everyone dealt. A six card hand, and the board is just run out until the river. The luckiest player will win. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? So. Looks good for Scally thus far in that flush draw and top two. Oh, okay, that's yours, and I need another card. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's give me one off the top. Yeah, everyone happy? Yeah. 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 Nah, it's a different one. I need another race. I'm dead on. Another, another ace and I've got the nuts. I'm dead. So aces will be the nuts on this board. Any straights on? Ace it looks like Scally with the ace king. With the top two. It's got the check mark. I'm not sure I've ever seen two pair win the six card bomb well, pot. Well, here. I can only account for one nine out there on the four card graphics. So someone could potentially have pocket nines hiding behind. But not too sure. Hey, what was that card you got? A club? <laughs> fuming. I don't know. It went, I didn't have any clubs, so I went. Club. <laughs> it was the club fuming. It does look like no one with a set, so Scally will take yeah, it with the top two pair. Yeah, the extra card I got was a six, which we're You're spot on, Andrew. Very rare that you'll see two pair win in a full table six card PLO flip. I'm learning, mate. I'm learning. Every day in the booth is a new treat. <laughs> don't let him do you, mate. Don't let him do you. <laughs> See the chip counts, guys. Carl, £13,000 after that successful check raise bluff. Jack O'Neill, great start for him. Bought him with 5k up to 12. I'd love to do a PLO stream on Friday night poker one day. You alongside me, me running you through the antics. That would be a, a great watch. I know, I know a few of these players actually play or delve in the six card realm. I did actually cover some very high stakes PLO out in Cyprus earlier in the year. Oh, nice. And it, four, it was fun. Four, it, it was very educational. Card. Yeah, yeah. F 50, 100 stakes, some massive oh. pots. It was a lot of fun. I was learning. It's definitely a raise. Learning as we went. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. You see a raise here. Mauricio trying to get this stand up button <laughs> off his back. <laughs> and there again with a light holding 10 feet of clubs. <laughs> Stato here. Recognizing the fact this show can be wide, and he needs to get rid of that button. Besides, just to send Jay, pretty shrewd move when you're at risk of paying 1400. Yeah, exactly that. And when it's down to the last two people, as it is here, Maurizio and Stato, we're essentially shoving 3.8k oh, to the last win an extra. Two? Yeah, to win a win 1400. So an extra 1400 in the pot. So this is nice from Stato, and it's going to be working. I expect Maurizio. Do Maybe. we ever have to call now, Jay? Because you're going to have to pay 1.4 if you don't. <laughs> it's, it's, <laughs> it's, com it's complicated. It is really complicated here. Because Maurizio could three get stacked and still have to pay that £1,400. <laughs> That's the thing. Uh, when we have such a trash hold in like 10-3, let's say we have 30% equity versus Stato's range. Right. Like only... 30% of the time we're going to win and 70% of the time we get stacked plus the 40. He's in though, he's out. in though. But, yeah. but he is in with the 10 free suited. Mauricio <laughs> calling it off. And uh, actually with 41% here with a 10 free suited versus that specific hand. And here we go. Oh my goodness, he blocks the three. Takes the lead. Stato now, drawing very thin, needs a deuce, oh, ace or nine, and he cannot find it. My goodness, Stato, aces cracked by kings, ace nine cracked by the mighty ten three suited. Only in the stand-up game will you see these antics. Maurizio taking a nice one with the ten three suited, all in pre, and Stato, I'm assuming, heading to the cage to reload. Rough start for Andy Hume. Aces into kings, all in pre. King on the river, lost that one. And now losing this one. He might not actually be going to the cage. He might be getting a taxi home and not, not have to pay the £1,400 bounty. I'll be out of there, Andrew. I'll be like, yeah, I'm just going to get some more chips, lads. I'll see you in a sec. Taxi. Deary me. 
Well, you're not on countdown yeah, anymore, my friend. Very unfortunate, <laughs> unfortunate for Sato. What can you do, Jake? Get it in good twice. Unfortunately, yeah, Poker God's not smiling thus far. Sure, Andrew <laughs> will be back. I'm loving not being up against him with the ace nine, knowing that I'm probably crushed against ten three. <laughs> it's a horrible live card. So what do I need to do? Transfer to DTD? And then, okay. Action back on Mauricio, out of the way. Stand-up game now complete for the time being. Round two, Anthony. Jack four of clubs. He's going to raise, makes it 300 to go. Round to Scali in the straddle. I believe he defended. As we wait for the graphics to catch up. King, Jack, 10 flop. Middle pair for Anthony. Scali. Just a little pair of deuces. <laughs> Quick check fold. Very nice start for Anthony also here, Jay. Yeah, steady, winning the pots. He's involved in. Building that stack up nicely. Gamblers. That's pennies when it went out. Did you? No, six pairs. Still wanting to play. Worst that can happen is you can lose. That's it. You know what I mean? It's not that bad, is it? No. <laughs> if you think of it like that. If you think of it like that. <laughs> so you money. Action back on Anthony here. 9 10 0. Oh. He's coming for another raise. Know, Excuse see, me, he's I decided to limp this happening. one. Mixing one in there. Carl pounces on it. Makes it 600 here out of the small queen deuce trap of clubs. You trap me. I Look know. at this, I Jay. Anthony me, wants to play one. Quickly yeah, calls. That's a position <laughs> here with just 10 high. Look at this for a flop for Carl. Queen 8 deuce, top and bottom. Yeah, going to be getting action. Anthony with a gut shot here. A jack on the turn would cause absolute carnage. Can he find it? Cannot. Instead, Carl improves to a queen high flush draw. Five of clubs turn. Expect this Coming for a half pot. To get it done. Be surprised if Anthony continued with his gutter now. Fine to take one off on the flop with position. But met with this second street of aggression from Carl. Not much we can do with the 10 high hit on the turn. Hasn't folded yet. I got one out. Does eventually land on fold. Gives the table a look at the 9 10. If it turns a 7, then I'm in. Eh? Uh, 200. Oh, shit, I forgot about that. That's why I was suggesting. That. Yeah, so change that. Yes. I'll oh, yeah, yeah, see, I'll fade you, yeah. yeah. My goodness, Stato returns to the table, Jay. You know, he's it's just stacked. He's just been stacked twice, morale's a little low, and Carl just looks at him and goes, 200, all right. <laughs> Get me paid. <laughs> Oh, it's the worst. It is actually the worst when you get stacked last player in a stand-up game and you got to go reload. And before you've even played a pot, you got to pay the bounty out. <laughs> Hearing me. Change of tactic here from Anthony. Had been motoring along. And now mixing in a bunch of limps. Carl not having it. Deciding. Going to isolate once more. 8-9 off. Have it. No, he's ruthless. Likes to take the aggressive action, take the betting lead. Ace, queen, six, all diamonds. Nine high, still best. Oh, with that eight of diamonds in hand, drawn to a flush. Should be hand over. 
<laughs> what is going on here, Jay? <laughs> Should in inverted commas. My goodness. I mean, the problem with floating a player like Carl out of position, Jay, I don't know how often he's going to check back turns. This is the thing. Like, maybe Anthony thinking, oh, cool, get the check, check and bluff River, but we don't get <laughs> don't the check, so. check. Just we case. just don't get the check, check oh, enough of just, the time. Uh, he's and, come uh, with overbet. It's like two... Oh, he just set him in. 3x pots. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Nine high. Gets it done. Did actually have the best of it. My goodness. The four deuce. Uh, Carl with a power poker. Not the type of individual you'd be, want to float too often out of position. Just relentless. Mr. Shaw gets it done. A YouTube channel, I think. If you are just joining us, guys, welcome along YouTube streets. Friday Night Poker World Series of Poker Circuit Edition. 10, 25, 50 pound stakes, high stakes cash. Myself and Jay in the booth. Yep, and stay tuned as well because we've got a giveaway for the viewers coming up in an hour or so's time. Yeah, it's time for us to start thinking of what it's going to be today. Guys, that is going to be a $125 online ticket to the Mediterranean Poker Party. That takes place on GG Poker. The MPP this year going to be huge. Taking place at the start of May. There's a 1k 1 mil J. There's a 2k 2 mil. 5k 5 million main event. Going to be massive event. So stay tuned, guys. We will get that giveaway activated soon. Yeah, I've looked at the schedule as well. It does look unbelievable. Some great guarantees on out there. And I've heard some great things. Never been to Cyprus myself, but heard some great things about the poker tournaments that are run. Yeah, overseas. you're going to love it. You are going to love it. Now, Carl opening ace four. Gabriel getting after it here. Nine, ten of diamonds. And does do the trick. One through. Cards back in the air. Scally, ace nine in the cutoff, makes it 300 pounds. Sato, completing with sixes. And Jack, easy defend, 10 7 suited. Off to the streets. Do go three ways. King ten five with two spades. Jack O'Neill with the best of it here. Middle pair. Backdoor clubs. Scally gonna continue. Yeah, got a nice one to continue as well. Ace of spades, nine of clubs seems like a very clean continue candidate. Uh, but not gonna be working for one bet. Expect to see cool here from Jack with the middle pair. Yeah, I like this sizing from Scally. Very coordinated board. 500 half pot. It's somewhat uncomfortable for Jack, but with those clubs in hand, Jay, I think makes it more of a mandatory continue. And there is one of them. Queen of clubs turn. Yeah, and this is just a triple now in my eyes for Scally. But Scally going to actually check it back. But I would have loved to see him just go bet, bet, bet here with the ace nine with his particular combo that does knuckle it back the king on the river just going to shut down and wave that white flag Jack going to take it with his two pair yeah, yeah. interesting spot indeed 
Yeah, I, see, I think the turn is a very good opportunity to go for the triple there with the ace nine versus specifically the straddle that's going to have a lot of this 5x, 10x. Yep, Scally decides against it. Another pot going the way of Jack. Yeah, it's been a very good start for Jack O'Neill. I believe sporting the biggest profit this evening. An hour and a half into the stream. Play dealer's choice, why not? Get it all flowing. Action on Scally. Out of the way with 10-4. Holds around to Anthony. Nicole out of the big blind. Queen nine. I don't think Carl Shaw is going to be on Anthony Owo's Christmas card list this year. Right. Just really going part. after it. Well, this time could get interesting. Queen Jack Deuce. Anthony with the best of it. Carl with a gut shot. Little do we know, does he know if that gut shot does materialize? Could be absolute chaos. Quickly called from Anthony. Wow, ace of clubs turn. Carl now improves to a double gut shot. Yeah, mandatory barrel in my opinion here. Double gutted now, club in hand. Potential to go after it on club rivers as well. But no, Carl checking back. Oh, it's just like he knows, Jay. He just knows <laughs> it's coming. Oh, grim spot here for Anthony. Quickly bets the pot, Jay, or a shade under. And Carl just snap jams. And what do we do now, Jay, with Queen of Clubs in hand? This is grim. Yeah, it's a pretty ridiculous spot to be in for Anthony. Like, we don't think Carl's ever got a straight here. Like, never got King-10. That's just going to bet right. turn. But, but he will have this Queen X of Clubs, Jack X of Clubs that check back turn. And we hold the Queen of Clubs. So... It's very difficult for, for Carl to have a flush here because if he's like got something like six, seven of clubs, he's always barreling turn in my eyes. So, so like the Queen X of clubs and the Jack X of clubs are going to be the hands that start checking back on this turn. And with Queen of clubs in our hand, the Queen X of clubs not a thing. So it's actually a, a really horrible spot, but it does seem like a nice hand to catch with. We never make the assumption that Carl checks back two pair plus on the turn here. So it looks like he's just trying to say to us that He's rivered a flush and with Queen of Clubs in hand. Yeah, and there we go. Makes the call. And Carl gets paid. So Biggest sick. pot of the night. Just a shade under £15,000. Very grim spot for Anthony. Tough to blame him, Jay, against someone as aggressive as Carl. You yeah. just ran through the reasons why. There could be a bunch of bluffs. Very tough spot. Carl takes down a huge one. Yeah, and Carl may just get to get after it with his bare King of Clubs hands. If he's got King Queen, King Jack, King Nine with a club, King of Clubs specifically, he might just go after it with these hands. So, Carl for Anthony for the call there. Very tough river spot. But how does Carl know? Checks back the turn. A double barrel would have got the Queen out of there, but found the check behind and the most action river in the deck. The Nine of Clubs rolled off. And Carl stacking Anthony. Yeah, very tough spot. And Anthony reloads, undeterred. A great start also. Tough to blame him there. Really, really difficult situation to be in. The Dream Crusher claims another victim. <laughs> tough, tough spot. Feel for him there. Hard one. As we see, Mauricio, 5-6 suited in the hijack. Going to open the action. Makes it 125 to go. Anthony in there, ace eight, and Carl, well, 10 eight once more. Can't fold yeah. it after after we just win a 20 bag pot with it. <laughs> Gotta be in the mix. Queen nine deuce, Carl once again with a gut shot. Has the eight of spades in hand also. Mauricio just six high. 
attempt to check. Turn is a seven. Harrell now improves to an open ender. Having been checked through on the flop, gets the green light, goes with over bet. Moritz Hill going to have a lot of ace high king highs that we fold out and we just assume that Anthony going to start betting his strong hands. A nice little spot for the stab for Carl with his up and down. Yeah, Good. very mandatory spot. Carl begins to pick up momentum. No chance to say hello to everybody in the YouTube chat streets. Myself and Jay, we have it open in front of us. So if you want to, want to ask any questions, guys, you want to get in the mix. You know, we always appreciate your inputs. Man of Straw says, hi, Jay and Andrew. Hello, my friend. Yeah, we will be back on Sunday with the main event final table, my friend, of the World Series of Poker Circuit Series. Please join us for that. Oh, loving this. Jim Marlowe. This commentating guy sounds just like Jay Harwood, but a bit more camp. <laughs> Fantastic stuff. Keep him coming. Who said that? <laughs> who who uh, was listen, that? Andrew? It's, it's not on me to out said in the individual. Okay. Amazing I, stuff. I'm just, I'm just gonna have to look myself, obviously. He's done you there, pal. That's all I'll say. Right, focus, Andrew. Ace King Deuce, three bet pot, Anthony. Getting after it, makes it 600. Scally continues with eight. Quick check, check on the flop. Pair of kings of Anthony, still best. Gonna go for his value on the turn here now after check, check, and Scally met with two over cards. Always finding these spots uh, when the opener checks back on like the ace king board, they're just gonna have a fair amount of showdown. Yeah. You just expect them to continue like a 10-9 suited or something like that. So very nice fold there from Scally. Of of yeah. course, of course it was Jim Marlowe. Jim Marlowe watches a fair amount of the streams <laughs> I do. He's a bit of a wind up merchant, let's say, but he's always in the chats wherever I go. Oh good evening, Jim. Uh, good evening, Ian Needleman as well, and a few others in the chat. How are we doing, Ben Teague? Adam Bonham. Good evening to everyone. Thank you for tuning in to Friday Night Poker. Yeah, good to see you all, guys, as always. And as we said earlier, we're going to activate that giveaway shortly. $125 satellite ticket, courtesy of GG Poker. That's to the Mediterranean Poker Party taking place in May. Myself and Jay are going to put our heads together in a moment. Come up with that, excuse me, with that giveaway. As we see a raise from Gabriel here, Ace King. And Carl going to get after it once again here with a squeeze. We've seen him do this already. This exact lineup against Gabriel makes it 900. Not going to get through once again, Jay. Gabriel here, 5K or so in front of him and Ace King off. Yeah, and uh, once again, quite an awkward stack size to have here as Gabriel. If we had like a thousand less, nice easy jam, a thousand more free bet, not all in. Still just going to go for the jam boat and uh, we'll be working versus Carl's holding. Doubt Carl going to be calling off here with the king queen. It's going to be a little frustrating for Carl. Same villain, same result. Does he ever fancy a spin, Jay? I had a feeling, you know, <laughs> flicks it in. <laughs> feeling the momentum. Here we go, Gabriel, being patient, not, not being involved too, too much. Finds himself as a big favorite here. Carl, gonna have to find one of the remaining queens in the deck. Will help so far, 6-4-4. Four, four. Oh, oh my goodness, just drills the queen of hearts on the turn. The Eight dream. Of Diamonds River. The dream wrecker. I think you've nailed it on the head. My goodness. Carl Shaw. What can you say, Jay? Another Not much. One bites the dust. Not Carl much at up all. to 28k. What can Gabriel do there? Gets it in so good. Opponent drawing to three outs for a five figure pot and just Queen drills off on the turn for Carl Shaw. And now. The biggest winner thus far this evening for Friday Night Poker. Interesting tonight. I haven't really seen anybody running it twice. 
Lots of run at once action on the go. Guys, as you see, a beautiful little feature there, top of the screen. Carl now, out of nowhere, up 13.3k. Stato, with some work to do. He's run very poorly thus far. Carl and Jack, biggest winners in the game so far, along with Mauricio with the 4k profit. Obviously about 4k. And then you get all in, all in, innit? It's shit, innit? Really. You want to go heads up, don't you? And then when they turn jacks and ace queen. I hit a flush. I can't see how he's ever got less than ace king in that spot. It's strange, ace king. Two folds, three folds. Three, Action back on Carl. Back into the mix. Makes it 200 to go. 7 8 of clubs. No action forthcoming. Normally said by people who've got one. Yeah. It's not a phrase often told by some people with skins. Yeah. It's only money. Yes. Yes. Knit game activated. Game activated. No, after well, people want to. I'll say that. Yeah. Yeah. We want it on. We want it on. Yeah. Looks like the stand-up game is back on, guys. As I see the dealer distribute the stand-up buttons. Cards back in the air. Great stream so far. A lot of action. As always here on Friday Night Poker. Carl now feeling it. Getting back after it here. J reference also... Good to get in their early doors when the stand-up game is on. Often get a little more credit. Looks like we're going multi-way here. Carl 300, Scally in there. The 7-3 of diamonds. Stato and Anthony complete. King 9 suited and 10-6 all. Queen, Queen 8 with two hearts. Carl here does have the best of it with two pair. Stato though. King high flush draw. Two over cards to that pair of eights. An interesting spot here. It's 450 and Scally makes it 1.1k here with just seven high folks. Wow, did not expect to see it. My goodness. Seven high, no draw. The stone bluff. And look at this from Stato, not having it. Sends the chips in, 4.4k. Poseidon, he's going to run his flush draw. If, his, if Scally is bluffing or has a hand, you know, like a 10 jack of hearts, potentially. Six, seven of hearts, we do very well. Fold out some AX, pocket nines, types. And if our opponent does have a queen, then we're still live. Scally getting after it. Seven high only, unfortunately for him. Stato finds the jam. Nice hand. It's weird, wasn't it? It's like, they don't win very much. It's not like you win a lot of money, but it's just like, really. Once again, guys in the chat, good evening to you all. Adam Bonham, do you have a VPIP list? Yes, we do, my friend. I'll talk to the powers of B. Make sure that we always like to get the stats up, you know, intermittently throughout the stream. Yep. Chris Cuncliffe, hello. Hello, my friend. Nifpimus. Never mind, Phil. Hello, buddy. Cards back in the air. Power long, power long, roughly. Oh, it's flipped. Oh, that's always a good card. Yeah, yeah. Start yeah. Off with, isn't it? The ace of hearts. Ace of hearts, ace of hearts, of hearts is always a good ace. card. Queen jack. That might just be the nuts. I'll leave that. All two. All low cards, please. Oh. Is yes. another six card low PLO low. flip yeah, underway. Yeah. 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 200 pounds a man. Oh, 
on fucking out, taking on out. When in hand, it takes down 1.4k from the rest of the table. Nice little juicer, if you're in the hole when you win one of these, just get back in the right direction. Just low cards. Put them in the box so people can see. Got spades. Oh, low oh, a nice King. little juicer oh, indeed. Straight, well, oh, King 3 6, all spades. Yeah, yeah, bear race. With the 4 and 5 of spades, I can see. Fair race for Jack, so Queen Eye Flush is what we're looking for at the moment for the nuts. Anthony, only player I can see with two spades currently. A fight. Scally and Mauricio are holding. A five eye flush can't win seven way. It just can't, Andrew. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm saying it now. It can't. Anything can happen on Friday night poker. You know that, buddy. It might have won, you know. Oh, it does win. So we have two pair win and then a five high flush. The last two 200 pound flips. Six card PLO. We won't see that too often. Skill game, mate. Skill game. Yeah. A welcome timed pickup for Anthony. Of course, got stacked by Carl in that very unfortunate pot. He's going to take this one down. I waited for your return, Jay. To say this oh, one. thank you. Waited for your return, buddy. It's not often that myself and you get complimented. Nathan says, you two are the best in the business as comms and analysts. Absolutely amazing insight into the game. Thank you very much, mate. We appreciate it. Thank you very much, Nathan. Kind words. And I see Mr. Cunliffe's tuned in as well. How are we doing, Chris? Chris Cunliffe in the chat. So back to normal. There's a stand-up game being called back on, I see. A couple of yellow dots next to the names. Uh, yeah, it is back on, my friend. Two, two, two. We saw Scally oh, run a pretty wild bluff. <laughs> well, you were taking a short interlude. And score, Stato right? wasn't having it. Cold jammed behind. <laughs> Managed to get the best hand to fold, which was Carl, stuck in the middle. I won't sing the song, even though it immediately just came into my head. Raised from Carl, 300, ace king suited. Has a real one called from Scally, ace 10 0. Jack here in the straddle, 8 4 off, going to complete stand up game in the mix. And Scally, trouble ahead, ace 7 5. Carl big. here with close to top of range. Yeah, big trouble because against Carl with ace 10, I think we're just going to have to throw the seatbelt on and strap in and just cool down here as Scally. But going to go for raise with the ace 10. I'm yeah, not too sure about this one, Jay. I'd, I would prefer just a bluff catch, Carl, here, personally. Just allow him to blast off when he is blasting. Does yeah. click it. Completely agree with you, Andrew. I think Cole going to play a lot better in this scenario against a very aggressive opponent. Want to keep bluffs in. Like, if Carl had something like King Queen, King Jack, drawing nigh on right. dead in terms of equity, we want these hands to stay in the pot. But does go with raise. Carl makes the call off to the turn. Really yeah, good call. Very cards. problematic now. Seven pairs of the board. Scally now with just 60% back. He sent it in. And he's drawing incredibly thin here, Jay. Going to need to find either an ace or a seven for a chop. Or find one of the remaining tens in the deck for the scoop. Another huge pot. 11k in the middle. No good. Jack of spades completes the board. Carl Shaw just seems to have this way, Jay, of just building a massive stack on these streams. And Scally is out of here. Potentially going to reload. A difficult one for Scally versus particular opponent in question. I think even if he played it in the standard manner, would have still been getting stacked there. Just unfortunate flop to see. Uh, Carl up over the 30k mark now for his stack. And I believe sporting a profit of close to 20k it's been a great start to the evening for mr short and we yeah, will interesting see. to touch on jay isn't it that i think he's so aware of his image in these spots i mean you, you see a bit close to pot there are four ways and you know it's such a large size and right that you don't typically see but just knows that if anyone else has an ace not going to fall to him of course
as we see Mauricio here. It's Jack of Diamonds. Beautiful looking hand. Makes it 300 to go. Gabriel has reloaded after that unfortunate ace king versus king queen. Back round to Carl once more. 9 10 0. Oh. Going to defend out of the straddle. Mauricio, or Mauricio. Mauricio. We'll see. Okay. 10 3 CI. You'll note the end. in the window. 8 7 5. Backdoor not flush draw and straight draws for Mauricio. Open ender for Carl. Carl does take the lead. Nine of clubs turn. Interesting check. I would have expected a bunch of sort of small betting from Carl. And he's going to get in a little bit of trouble potentially. River is a 10. Has top two. Wow, is that a big size? That's yeah. interesting, Jay. Overbet yeah. part. And once again, I think it stems back to what you just mentioned, the image here. And maybe Carl thinking that people will call some one pairs and stuff versus this okay. kind of polar sizing. Like, theoretically, genuinely, you would see a smaller size here with a top two pair on the four lineup. But Carl trying to extract maximum, but bad news incoming. Maurizio with the race. Yeah, just going to min raise. Potentially targeting a hand like a 6J that has gone for a greedy river size. Interesting. Potentially. Uh, is going to get paid. Yeah. Carl going to call it off and see the bad news. Maurizio backdooring into the straight. And get some value on the end from his hand. Yeah, nicely done. Got call three. <laughs> As the Ronaldinho of poker continues to <laughs> smile. Right, Jay, time to put our heads together on this giveaway. We're, we will announce it, guys, in the next couple of minutes. You only missed one hand. You see Gabriel here. Opens with a seven. Stand-up game, guys. Still in play. You see those little yellow dots next to the player's name? Means that they are still active. All right, guys, we have put our heads together. So we quick. Come up with a cunning plan. <laughs> Didn't take long. Uh, yeah, Didn't take long. Right, guys. Giveaway time. $125 ticket that takes place on GG Poker. And it is a satellite flight ticket to the Mediterranean Poker Party. That's going to be taking place at the Merit Complex in Cyprus in early May. So what we want you to do. I'm going to make sure I word this correctly, Jay, so it's not made it too complicated. Uh, uh, are, we you want... okay? are you okay? I'm okay. You mean I'm to run it down? Or... All right, I'll throw it over to you. I'll, I'll let you cover this one. <laughs> so, guys, <laughs> at 10.30 this evening, we're going to stop the giveaway. We want you to tell us what the biggest stack size is going to be at the table. Closest guess in pounds wins. 
So we want you to tell to tell us what the biggest stack will be in pounds on this table. Yep, and you got the closest guess wins. Half past nine. So what that means, it's not the player with the biggest stack. It's not a name we're looking for. It's a monetary value, and the player that has the biggest stack at half past ten, however much is in their stack. Whoever is closest to that will win the giveaway for this evening. So you've got 15 minutes to guess. We'll give you till half past nine. We'll then shut it off and watch the coverage for an hour. And then at half ten, we will reveal the winner. Perfect. So what's the biggest stack going to be, guys? 28K, 48K, 18K, 100K. Closest guess wins. And the winner will get that $125. Satellite ticket to the Mediterranean Poker Party. We've already done a bunch of giveaways on stream where players have parlayed, you know, tournament tickets, satellite tickets up into some big scores. So throw your hat into the ring, guys. And please, when you put your guess, please put your GG Poker username next to your guess. I don't want, you know, someone to get the closest guess and not have their username next to it and not be paid out the ticket. So I'll give you a few moments. If you've already guessed, just write it again. Stick your GG Poker username next to your guess. And then, yeah, we'll give you about 15, 20 minutes to get those guesses in. And as Jay says, we'll watch the action and give that ticket away around about 10.30. So the very best of luck, guys. Free money. It's a free money. Toss your hat into the ring, Jay. <laughs> yeah, we love free money. <laughs> And it would be great if whoever won the, the 125 could somehow find their way into that event at Cyprus from a satellite token that's given away on stream. We love the right. story. 100%. Now, back into the action. Now that, that giveaway has been announced. We have a raise here from Anthony to 450 with Ace 4. Scally making the call. And flopping strongly. Top two. King Jack 10 with two diamonds. Anthony here, gut shot to Broadway and to backdoor and up flush draw. You see some action here and he's gone large, Jay. That seems like a fairly clean continue facing big blind specifically with his hand. Uh, Scally just playing this one slow. Opting yeah, I like this call. from Scally. Against an aggressive opponent, let them put chips in. Likely to be able to get this one in on the turn with the SPR. Anthony. Quickly shuts it down, Jay. River is the five of spades. Scally still best. Yeah, and didn't Most go for value. Check. Went yeah. for the old check raise on the river. Don't mind it if you think your opponent has a pure give up type holding and may try and bluff River. Nice pick up for Scally. Top two. Anthony, well timed slowdown. I can't help myself there, Jay. Ace of diamonds in hand. I don't think my opponent has any straights. I would be firing it off. Good discipline. Yeah, very nice. Well timed give up from Anthony Owo. And get your guesses in the chat, guys. They're coming in. If you haven't guessed yet, you can put a guess in the chat. What is going to be the biggest stack at 10.30 p.m. this evening? We're not looking for the player. We're looking for the monetary amount. Yeah. Get those GG's usernames, guys, alongside the guests so that we can credit you with that ticket if you win. Just tilt and heavy hands. One more time, I will repeat it. Get the guesses in, guys. Monetary amount followed by your GG poker username. If you just guess the amount and you win, I don't want to then not be able to give you the prize because you don't have your GG username involved. So the best of luck, guys. Now, back into the action. Anthony, getting after it. Eight, four of clubs. Yeah, I'd love to see a squeeze here from Gabriel with a king-queen because he sort of set an image for himself as well that he's been playing fairly snug. The one hand that did go to showdown was the ace-king versus Carl. So everyone saw that. But right. just going to continue with the tight approach and let the king-queen offsuit go. But I think when you are aware that you've probably been one of the snuggest players on the evening at the table, it's a very good opportunity to put that to advantage. Just as Carl oh puts his... Oh, my wow. word. Sorry to cut you off, Jay. Wow. Disaster in wow. progress. What? Wow, and Anthony overbet jams and somehow is behind. Jack also snapped it off. Wow. we got to three-way all in. What has happened here? Wow. And Jack is essentially... 
Close to dead, Jay. He's yeah. running 5 6 or running 7 7. Stato somehow gets it in three ways here as a 93% favorite. And surely Stato can't lose this one. Oh, my word. What a development. That happened so fast. I believe Anthony jammed 5K and Jack fist pumped it. Incredible development. It all happened so quick. Waiting for the graphics to catch up. But just <laughs> rifled in by the three players. And that... Stato on the turn. Good to see. Just fading the one, one out. out. Just the eight of spades to fade to scoop a monster pot. Taz do so. Five of hearts, River. What a pickup for Andrew. Incredible stuff. That happened so quick, Jay. Yeah. Insanely quick, and I think it's about a 16k oh, pot. This oh, we're running, running it twice. twice. We're running it twice. Imagine the eight, now. the eight on the river now to uh, <laughs> chop it up between. <laughs> it wouldn't be a chop. It would be oh whoa. Eight and the eight's it. full eight of fours. Oh, 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 oh my no! Oh my goodness me! The one outer eight of spades pings the river. Oh, Stato. That is ill. One out for oh. 18k pot. We're going to have to chop this up. Jack's going to be getting chopped up here. Anthony with eights full of fours. What an insane river card. This could be cruel, Jay, but you know. Boom. <laughs> My goodness, that's a brutal, brutal run bad. He's a season pro. He, can he is. It. He is. He'll be fine, I'm sure. And uh, just can't believe how quickly it all went in on the flop. Yeah. Shove from Anthony. Jack called it off. Stato sitting there behind, licking his lips for middle set. Goodness me. Rivers do not come much grimmer than that. So Stato had a two outer on the river, costing him just over five figures earlier on. Now having a one outer on the river, costing him just shy of 9k. Going to be chopping this up with Anthony. Yeah, um, hand of the night, Jay, right? That just yep. happened so, so quickly. Somehow we had 20k pot or so post within a microsecond of the flop hitting the felt. Incredible stuff. Holds well for us, Jay, in the booth. Compelling viewing. Feel like the action beginning to heat up even more. Yeah, fantastic hand to cover there. And you got six minutes, guys. We're going to close the guessing off at half past nine. If you haven't guessed yet, we are running a giveaway for a 125 satellite feed up get yourself over to cyprus all we want to know is what the biggest stack is going to be at half past 10 that's not who has the biggest stack we want the monetary value and at 10 30 we will reveal the winner so good luck to everyone if you haven't guessed yet and i do need the gg Username that you play under alongside your guests, so it's easy for us to credit your account with that token. So a little breather after that pop. Three way all in. Don't see it very often. A brutal one for Stato. Makes profit on the hand, but would have been thinking about the whole scoop. And back to the action. Jack kicking things off with a limp with the fours in the calf. And Gabriel going to make it 400 with the king nine. And Jack just says, I'm all in with the pocket fours. Okay. Going for the limp shot for what would be fully effective with the 100 straddle on that hand.
Bad news for me. Oh. Uh, two bills a month. Did he show? Yeah, he showed four yeah, hundred. Wow, you shouldn't have even lost it either because you you didn't show it one time. Oh, no, no. Oh, that's it. Oh, shit. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> this is it. I lost twelve. Look at that fucking thing. Shouldn't have even have been in it. The worst thing is you showed Jack as well. You made a strong play. I think I, you got I, I, I didn't see it. I know he loved it. Did you get a bluff for it as well? <laughs> it felt like the way you showed it, it was a bluff. I didn't. Yes. I didn't actually see it. Yeah. Right, Carl and the hijack out of the way. Sporting a 31.4k stack. Biggest stack at the table at the moment. For those that have participated in this evening's giveaway, you've probably got till the end of this hand to get your guesses in. As we see an open from Scally in the cutoff, suited King 7. Anthony calls in the third blind and Jack along in the straddle. Not much going on for anyone here. Could just be a one and done for Scally with the C bet, but opting to check behind to the Deuce of Hearts turn. And going to be first sign of aggression. Going to take this pot, but forget that because Anthony Owo makes the best of it on the river. And going to go for some value here with his two pair. And quick folds from up. both yeah. Jack and Scally. Small one going the way of Anthony. Someone had to hit something, didn't they? Me two inches back. I'm happy to get back on whenever. Like, like, yeah. 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 But more of the same, please. I think third five-figure pot of the night. Don't think it will be the smallest, though. Still got a healthy amount of time left this evening. As Maurizio opens cut off here with the pocket sevens. Stato opting for the free bet from the small blind with the queen nine suited. Can definitely get behind it. Very nice to play a lot of free bets from small blind in the cash game. Anthony in with a cold call. Maurizio calls closing the action. Three players to this flop. Stato with the betting lead. Maurizio with position. And we got action. Everyone with a piece. Middle pair for Stato. Seems like a check out of position. Does go with check. And Anthony after the original opener or original free bet I should say is checked green light for us to start putting some chips in with our top pair top kick up back door nut flush draw to go alongside it and goes meaty just north of half fairly connected board Maurizio calling with the sevens looking for a date with an eight on the turn And gets it. No waiting around. Maurizio turns the straight. And assuming we're just going to see a bet here from him. But stack size in question here. Anthony working with about 75% pot. So decision point for Maurizio here. Whether we do just go for the lot here now or maybe go for two small streets of value with a straight and does go for the latter option trying to get this over two streets here we do start getting some value from some two pairs some stuff like some spade draws in there as well with this particular size and it's a really grim one for Anthony here because 
there's situations we can be drawing dead with just the one pair holding. It would appear I have returned during a big one, Jay. Anthony under it here with just top pair. Yeah, Anthony uh, bet flop. Maurizio called just north of half. Maurizio drills it on the turn and going for this small third pot sizing to try and get it over two streets. And it's a real grim one for Anthony. Ace of spades, not the best card to have in hand here. Right. We want Maurizio to be bluffing some nut flush draws of his own. And the situation that we can just be drawing dead here versus some sets versus some straights. Yeah, really hard to assign bluffs, likely candidates, something like King Jack, and like yeah. Jack Nine suited Jay, right? That decides to turn itself into a bluff. Yeah, I think, I think too many more. I think the King Jack is the is the obvious one there. I think yeah. the, the Jack interaction is where we're gonna build bluffs from, but either way. Good fall from Anthony there. Yeah, very, very nice lay down to see the four to one price and top pair top kicker and take one more off but discipline fall from the man it did lose that huge one to carl so very easy to make a steamed a steamy type call anthony finds the discipline well done let's give the guys jay another 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 like 10 minutes max and then we'll shut that giveaway what do you reckon it's up to you you're the boss with the giveaways andrew absolutely you make the rules here. that's right i am so we will <laughs> Just to get a few more guesses in, you know, make it a bit more of a sweat for those involved. You know what? I'll split the difference, guys. You've got seven minutes, right? We'll close it at 22. 22, we'll close it. For anyone just joining Friday Night Poker, we do have a giveaway underway. What we want you to do is guess what the biggest stack at the table will be at half past 10 UK time. We don't want you to guess the player with the biggest stack. We want the monetary value of the biggest stack at the table. That is a $125 feeder satellite to the Mediterranean Poker Party taking place on GG Poker. So get your guess in of the size of the biggest stack. And also please put your GG Poker username alongside that guess. Just so that we can credit you with that ticket if you are the winner. Good luck guys. You've got seven minutes to get the guesses in. Then we're going to close it. Watch the action for the next 50 minutes or so and announce the winner at 10.30. So, Stato, pocket deuces. What a roller coaster ride for Stato on this stream. Ran incredibly badly thus far. Really hasn't made any mistakes. Opens the deuces. Call from Anthony. 9 4 suited. Jack O'Neill. Gonna bump it up here, Jay, with Big Slick. As standard as can be. Nice, meaty sizing as well. Makes it 850 here. I do expect it to be working. Stato does just let the pair go. Anthony, just having a little grind through social media, has no idea that the action's on him. Great <laughs> Look at this, no one's even telling him. This is brilliant. Anthony. Anthony. Oh, he, could, he, could be, he could be checking. There we go. We're going to be folded. Too good. <laughs> it's like the longest where, where was the flop tank I've ever seen. Not uh, knowing that it's on you. I was going to say, he could be checking whether he's still got time to enter the giveaway and get involved in himself on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> Five minutes to go for that one. If you haven't guessed, we're closing it at 20 to 10. We need the biggest stack monetary value, not play up at 10.30 p.m. And we will pull the chip counts and stacks up at 10.30 We'll then scroll the chat box, see who is closest, and someone will be credited with that $125 token. I'm going to give the lads a chance. Big S. I need your screen name, mate. I'm going to need your GG Poker username alongside that guess, or you won't be eligible. Same for you, Spray171. Please put your GG usernames in the chat, or you will not be eligible for that giveaway. We're going to shut it shortly, five minutes or so. And Jay, I don't know if you've got the YouTube chat open, but if yeah. Ben Lafferty wins, we're in trouble. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> I did see that. <laughs> I did see that username. It's 2024, Ben. You're trying to get me cancelled. Right, three ways. 1083. Scally here, somehow with the best of it, with just ace high, no pair for anybody. Anthony does have an open ender. Yeah, I think.
think nice one to delay C bet now with the jack higher, but does go for the check and take his equity to the river and does find the best of it. Yeah, potentially just feeling a bit gun shy, Jay. Can happen, right, when you've been getting smashed. Yeah, it can. I think that's uh, an element of poker people look over sometimes when things aren't going your way. You might not take a spot that usually you would, like there, for example, with a bit of confidence about it, might have gone for the delay sure. C bet with the Jack Nine. Either way, he takes the pot, but you're spot on there, Andy. This game can change. Definitely happen, man. It can it can run you down. Yeah, it can change your mood in seconds. In seconds, one minute you're on top of the world, next you're you're contemplating life. What am I doing with my life? Playing cards every day. I could be out there seeing the world, doing things, but no, I'm sat at a poker table, playing with some solid circular discs. The existential crisis that is no limit hold'em. As you exactly. see the VPIPs in front of you, that was requested in the chat, asked and received. Anthony with the biggest VPIP. He's been pretty unfortunate in the big pots, hopefully for him. He can turn it around. The last couple of minutes, guys, then we will close the giveaway. Get those guess, guesses in. There are a new player taking their seat. In the eight seat. You know what? I'm just too kind hearted. We have a guest from Pyong Wei Ji. And he's just put his screen name, mate. That's not going to get the job done. <laughs> you, you need to guess the biggest effective stack on the table. We want the monetary size of that biggest stack. And that's going to be at 1030. We want to know who's, uh, sorry, what size is going to be the biggest stack on the table alongside that GG username. So if you fire a guess in, mate. I will be able to include you in the running to win that 125 sat ticket. Six car PLO flip underway. There we go, Pyong. He's got his guess in. Good lad. Good luck. There we go. And it's James Mahone that comes to the table in the eight seat. And starting things off with the £200 flip. Oh, how, how good would it have been if uh, James just put a spanner in the works for the giveaway and pulled up like 100k? Oh, that would have been great. <laughs> that would have been absolutely great. That would have. <laughs> Well, it looks like Carl Shaw might have this one. Oh, Ten and six of clubs in hand. Ship it, ship it, ship it. Unless someone has the king or queen high clubs, Carl's going to scoop. Yeah, flush is heavily blocked by the board. So Carl looking good at the moment. Can't get anything, you're dead. Yeah. Oh, straight. Usual winner. Yeah, Carl takes it down. So we see a C4. A little bit of poker royalty join in nice to see you my friend gets his guess in just in time the poker tourist you see carl take down that flip yeah and as soon as the first card is pitched off the deck for the next hand we will shut the comp and then all right. guesses are locked in just having a little scroll through the guesses. We have 37k, 26k, 38k, 41k. Biggest guess, 78.5k. I'm loving that. That's what we want. We want the action this evening. Chris Lithgow, 65k. Didn't put your username. You're in trouble. You got about 60 seconds to get it in. I feel like, Jay, we should up the ante. Go on, what you got? Well, I do feel bad. I didn't get you your Guinness, did I? In Coventry, you were too busy. I'm saving them for Ireland. Uh, I've, I've ah, that's a good shout. I think five or six Guinnesses locked up in Ireland. Not not just from you, like I've been collecting them over the last 12 months. Well, I was going to say we should have a side bet where we guess the big stack. Obviously, we are not eligible for the ticket. Right, OK. But we can el be eligible for something. OK, do you, what, you want another Guinness on it? You're going to owe me about 20 Guinnesses oh, in this well, carousel. No, I need, I got to get out of it here. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll tell I'll tell you what, Andrew. I'll let you pick oh, first as well. I'll let you pick first. All right. Uh, right, let me think about this. Now, Carl's a bit of a maniac, so it could go either way. I will go... I'm going to go 27,500. Okay. Um, I'm not I'm not going to be a rat and go 27,501. <laughs> uh, I'm not, I'm not going to do that. I could, but I'm not going to do that. I am going to go for... Forty-two thousand pounds. Beautiful, right? Good luck, us. Back to the action now. Very interesting spot for Mauricio. 
And he's going to just rip it in, I think, Jay. We've seen Carl here. Three bet to 2K with King 8 suited against a raise and four calls, three calls. And what, what does James do here? Has pocket nines. But imagine hand's not going to be good enough. Facing squeeze and cold four. And he hasn't jammed, but he has half stacked it. Looks like 8.1K. Yeah, call, Should call, get call. the job done. Yeah, yeah Carl nice. frustratedly lays it down. Well played, Mauricio. Picks up a load of dead money. Yeah, very nice. From Maurizio, finds the spot, just recognising how wide Carl's free bet range is. Carl's free bet range is basically a normal person's hijack opening range. That's that's basically <laughs> one way to look at it. And uh, obviously, ace-queen well ahead of all the antics that are in there for Carl Short. Nice pickup uncontested. Yeah, well played. All right, guys, giveaway is closed. So the very best of luck to all of you. Continue. Keep your eyes on the stream. Let's watch the action. Next sort of 45, 50 minutes at 10.30 p.m. We will find out who has the closest guess and who's going to take that $125 ticket. Best of luck to all of you. A new player at the table, James. Raises here, ace nine of diamonds, makes it 200 to go. And Carl, lurking behind here, has the butchers. Looking like bad timing for Jack O'Neill. He's going to three bet king queen all. Makes it 650. And Carl, cold finding it. Here comes the cold four bet. Looks like two thousand pounds. Could we see a jam here from Jack against this particular customer with this hand specifically? I mean, I think you know. Obviously, Carl can have all sorts of hands, but King Queen O oh, just so unappetizing. I uh, know. Maybe we want the suited variety. I feel like when suited, it could happen. I don't imagine that Jack will do it. I think he's too disciplined, Jay. I could be wrong, though. It's definitely going through his head. It is. You can tell. Sure. Because he's never calling this out of position, King Queen offsuit. So the only way we can proceed here is with the rip. Yeah, uh, finds go. the right decision. Yeah. Nicely done from Jack. <laughs> Hit the nail on the head, Andrew. Too disciplined. Yeah. Just not the right sort of candidate, I don't think, to put it in. Idol Vesas asks, what are the chip denominations? Yeah, the pinks are 100, my friend. Blacks are 25. The plaques are 1,000 uh, pounds. Yeah, the purple plaques are the 1Ks. The green plaques are the 5Ks. Uh, I think Carl, Carl's the only one with any greens in front of him at the moment, though, I believe. Look at that. Great work from our team at DTD Player. All of the denominations now listed for you guys in the chat. Gives me an opportunity to let you guys know we've got lots and lots of stuff coming up at DTD. Please do follow our social media channels at DTD Club and at DTD Player. Big things coming. High stakes cash, high stakes tournaments. You know the drill. Get in the mix. Give us a follow and a like. And all that good stuff. Yeah. Well said. And if you enjoy the coverage as well on the YouTube channel, there's a little bell you can see and you can actually set notifications on. So every time that we go live, you will get notified by your device that we're live and we are streaming. See, that's why you're a step ahead of me, Jay. I don't know about any of this additional stuff. Good to know. <laughs> as we see, Statoflop's best here, top pair. Scally, very interesting little candidate. Middle pair and second nut flush draw. Decides to take a free one. Intrigued to see how this one proceeds. Stato now going to go for value in protection. Bets half pots. Anthony, just bottom pair. Got to get out of the way. Now Scally has options, Jay. Likely just calls, but not impossible to start turning this one into a semi-bluff. Does call. The river is the king of hearts. Stato here with just a weak-ish top pair. 
Yeah, and if Stato checks, just check behind from Scali. But if Stato bets, then I think it becomes yeah. even more tasty to turn into a bluff here. This particular combination choice with Jack of Clubs in hand. And let's see if... Like, yeah, raising over a block here, Jay, could be really nice. Is a third pot, but the body language of Scali, always a bit of a tell, Jay. It doesn't look like a man who's going to raise this river. Certainly could have considered it. Does make the right fold. Stato continues the recovery from a rocky. A ro rocky would be an understatement, Jay, I'd say. A rocky couple of hours. Yep. Loses aces into kings. Kings on the river. Loses ace nine. Ace nine all in pre versus 10 three for just shy of 10 bag. And then gets it in with 93% equity for a 17.8k pot and somehow chops it. Poker that was outrageous. Phase. It don't come <laughs> much outrageous. worse than that, does it? it? It doesn't come worse than that in terms of a poker session. You do just have them sessions sometimes when nothing's going your way, no matter how you play. I just hope he forgives me for humming the countdown theme tune when he got re when he got wrecked. <laughs> it's all love. He knows it's all love. You, you got to get a bit of theatre in there, Jay. Right? Of course you have. Of course you have. And right. Stato's one that will love it. He will love it when he watches it back. Trust me. All right, Anthony, back in the mix. King Queen off. Looking a little disconsolate. He's had a bad run of it. Makes it three hundred to go. King Queen. And Mauricio really crushing here, Jay. Up to 17k. Yeah, Played very well thus far. Silently chipping up. I know he had the, the big one versus Stato, which made a difference. But since then, sure. it's chipping up quietly. Oh, my goodness. Anthony, not your night so far, my friend. Top pair here. Stato, very disguised top two out of the third blind. And Mauricio can't go anywhere just yet. Paul's in position here. Backdoor not flush draw and gut shot to Broadway. Stato yeah. licking his lips here. Feels like the right time to bump it up. Yeah, agreed. I think once it goes back, call. Cool. Especially this day with Maurizio. Want to put some more chips in the pot. And Anthony with the King Queen. Going to be in a lot of trouble here. The only saving grace for Anthony is he's up yeah. against Stato, and Stato's running horrible tonight, so he might actually get there, so we will see. Oh, my see. goodness. <laughs> if Stato loses this one, Jay. <laughs> Huge favourite, 83% to win. We did, of course, see some of the backdoor outs for Anthony get folded by Mauricio. That is one of them, though. Ace of spades turn. Rick on the river. They are going to run it twice. Stato takes the first one. Anthony needs a jack or a king. Oh, oh and does no, there again. Twice versus Stato. He's managed the chop, running it twice when he's <laughs> far behind. And Stato just can't scoop a pot tonight. It doesn't matter what he does. He just cannot scoop one. It's either a chop or he's getting felted every time he gets the money. All in. Unreal, Jay. Stato's got it in. As a massive favourite, three times, <laughs> lost one, chopped two, pretty grim. Four times, the 10 free versus the four ace times? nine, oh, the aces course, versus course. the kings, and the set of fours versus the eight four. 10 three, 10 three was the favourite, let's be honest. <laughs> <laughs> two, two live cards suited, 40%. Look back into the old chat streets. Mr. Aidan Quinlan, nice to see you, my friend. Says, hello, hello, Picasso. How are you doing, buddy? Ian says, what time is this being streamed till? Round about midnight, my man. High stakes cash game action, guys. If you are just joining, welcome along. Friday night poker. World Series of Poker Circuit Edition. 10, 25, 50 pound stakes. A lot of money on the table. Just make sure some quarter. huge ones so far. Look forward to some more. So we see this one go heads up between Stato and Anthony. Top pair for Stato. Limp pot. Um, Anthony here. Just ace high. Yeah, it's an awkward one for Anthony. Do have position, but not really too many appetizing turns for us. Does just let it go correctly. Nice fold. Big again. You say everything. I miss... 
I can't miss. You cannot miss. You cannot miss. I was going to call as well. I was going to chase the ace. <laughs> Very funny guy's Stato. He's like, I can't miss. <laughs> Takes down a part of 160 quid. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> He's a joker, so He's a very funny guy. He really is very funny. Very honest human character. Big love well for him. Oh, oh, yeah. yeah, so basically, you need to win one of these. You've got, you got to show your hand, otherwise it doesn't yeah. If you win a hand, you've got to show your hand. Yeah. If you win a hand, can't be bothered to, get, to get rid of the button, you have to show the hand. But if you forget to show your hand, you got to keep the button. And if you're the last person with a button, you have to pay everyone 200. So, what happened to Ant not long ago? He didn't, show, he didn't show his hand. Oh, so, when everyone went and just show a hand? Just yeah. win yeah, one just hand, show, yeah, yeah. show it, okay. then... then yeah. If you're the last person, then you have to pay everyone 200. Do it straight away, it's way less stressful. The last, no, the last person that, to win, that has one of these pretty much to sit down, yeah. You don't want to be that guy, mate. You don't want to be that guy. It just gets the game going there. Yeah, it gets the game out of the yeah. <laughs> So the lad's just explaining the stand-up game to James Mahone. Sounds like he hasn't played it before. He's in for a treat. Limpy, limpy. The stand-up game just straight up terrifies me, Jim. I'm not even playing. It, it just looks like massive tilt. I'm sorry. It really does. <laughs> it's one thing playing it, but then for your first ever time getting involved in the stand-up game, you're in, you're in this mix at this table. Right. Well, speaking of the mix, four-way action, 1.7k in the middle pre-flop, a couple of pocket pairs, a couple of straight draws developing, Anthony with the low end, 9-10, James got shot to Broadway, backdoor flush draw, Carl and Scally, with just those baby pairs, does check round to James, a couple of options here, decides to take a free one multi-way, drills it, and Anthony, oh whoa, how's your luck, Jay? Yeah, another one. Horrible shape here. That one and two seat. Been running awful this evening and getting cold decked here, Anthony. King of spades on the turn and he just oh, goes no. with all in. Oh my goodness. Once again goes for that 2x hot jam. Absolute fist pump for James. You're never against a full house here, Jay. Nobody's jamming here. 2x pot and Anthony's drawing dead here to a chop. Welcome to the stand up game, James Mahone. James absolutely thriving. 97% here to full on scoop. They are discussing once or twice. A little bit of frustration, I think, Jay, from Anthony, you know, to 2x pot jam here. When you get called, you are basically dead, right? I'm not sure about this one. River inconsequential. Queen on the first board. Nine on the river. Also no good. James Mahone, welcome to the table, sir. 9.2k pot going your way. And you get to take your seat. What a feeling that is. You just sit down very first hand. You double up. And... The more yeah, important the thing, as Andrew just mentioned, yeah. taking his seat. Can't get away from trouble. Call me trouble. King yeah, another down. nasty one for Anthony Owo. Oh, as James scoops a good one. Early doors. Back into the chat, big S. Is anyone able to join? I'm on the way with 25k. 25 bags, eh? Well, if you get in touch, my friend, with the people at DTD Player, give them a message. You can speak to our production team and you can try and secure a seat on stream. Can't guarantee you anything this evening, mate. This table, I don't see anybody leaving anytime soon. But if you get in touch, and that goes for anybody who watches the stream, you can get in touch and speak to our lineup manager. Potentially get a seat in a future edition of Friday Night Poker. We see Mauricio here getting after it early, following the advice of Mr. Harwood. In the stand-up game, you want to get in there early doors. Anthony, though, has reloaded. Another 5k. Going to 3-bet. King Jack of Diamonds. Makes it 500. And Stato. Undeterred. Going to make the call here. Does have position. Suited queen. Oh, excuse me. Yes, 3-4 suited. I believe the cards changed there, Jane, unless I'm having a 
momentary lapse. Uh, Maurizio was the original opener in the cutoff with the Suey ah. Queen. I've... Got it. Anthony checks here with the second that flush draw. Slows it down a little. Course check calling. Stato going to try and run one here with the nut low. Target some of those, you know, pocket pairs beneath an ace, Jay. Hands like King Queen suited that make, and King Jack suited that could call flop and turn. It does shut it down. Now, can Anthony find a check ever here? Does just decide to go for pure value. We can see Stato for high. Nothing to him. He's out. Terry Gold says, is that Mr. Trumper I hear? Absolutely is not, my friend. You're listening to myself, Andrew Headley, and Jay Harwood in the booth. But let's give a big shout out to Mr. Simon Trumper. Won a PLO side event this week, Jay, at the WSO nice. circuit. Great to see Simon, legend of the UK game, of course. So congratulations to him. If you're interested, guys, World Series of Poker circuit events going on in the background, if tournament poker is your thing, I believe day two is tomorrow, Jay, of our main event. And myself and Jay will be bringing you live coverage on Sunday. We'll be playing down to a winner of that World Series of Poker Circuit main event. We'll be crowning a champion. And of course, they will win that World Series of Poker Circuit ring. And I believe, Jay, if you win any of these circuit events, you can enter the Tournament of Champions I've heard. in Las Vegas every summer, which is a pretty sick free roll. I believe it's a million in the pool every year for any World Series of Poker ring holder. So if you needed any more reason to get in these events, that's a good one. Back into the action. Raised from Gabriel. Plus one. Queen Jack O. Anthony. Perhaps a little tilted in there on the button. Ace seven O. Scally. Potential squeeze opportunity. Didn't take it. Decides to just call. Mauricio completes. Ten three deuce. Mauricio flops best. Middle pair. Bunch of overcards for Gabriel and Scally. Anthony with very dusty, just ace high. And could go for continue here, even four way if he wanted to, as Gabriel with the queen jack. Two overcards on a dry texture here. Fold out some ace high, king highs. Yeah. Makes some sense to me for sure. I like the size in. It goes with half pot. Start to leverage pressure on some, you know, better hands like a king high, ace high, some middling pairs. Scally going to take one off. Interesting decision point for Mauricio. Does have a backdoor straight draw. But against shallow stacks, Jay, I'm not too sure about this one. Seems a little thin. Maybe a factor of the stand-up game being on. I think right. Mauricio maybe would usually just fold here, not be over-calling. But with the stand-up game on, times we do snag a three or a four, essentially an extra 1,400 quid in our pocket. Turn is the eight of clubs. Gabriel does improve to a gut shot. Not the greatest feeling in the world when you've been called in two spots, Jay. Yeah, and I think decision point here, but it's very difficult with our stack size. Wow, well, he's just going to go Bravo. for the send with the queen jack. I guess some removal to some stronger 10x, holding a jack and a queen. Queen 10, jack 10, less, less likely. And does get the better hand to fold. Nicely done from Gabriel there. First time we've seen that from him this evening. Credit to Gabriel, finds the turn semi-bluff shove. We did see him go for it earlier on with pocket sixes, and unfortunately for him, ran into the buzz shaw. The buzz shaw. There you go, the, I've just, the I've buzz just, shaw. In, I've just <laughs> inadvertently coined a new nickname. <laughs> That's a pretty good nickname, well, isn't it? The buzz shaw. Uh, yeah, so fair play, Gabriel. Finds the heart, gets it through. Nice hand. Even if it's mid-hand. Just watching your hand. Naughty sevens, that little straight, yeah? <laughs> That's how you know that I haven't seen your, the hand. And like just looking at the chat on YouTube. <laughs> Spray asked if I'd play this game. I'd love to get in the mix if I weren't doing cards. I'd definitely be there for sure. I'd be getting amongst it. To, to be fair, I play a lot with Carl on a regular. I play a lot with Jack O'Neill on a regular. But uh would love to be involved for sure but enjoying the coverage in the booth with mr headley been a fascinating evening i really enjoyed this one fast and furious action lots of stuff to dissect one of us is getting in this game one day mate we'll do it for the commentators yeah 
<laughs> Chuck us in. We do like a tag team. You play first yeah. half, I'll play second half. <laughs> you can play flop and turn, and then I'll look at down at our cards on the river and be like, Jay, what have you done? <laughs> How are we here in this spot with this hand? What's going well, on? Well, guess we're all in. Right. A little too much nonsense. Back to the action. Not much going on here. Jack does turn the best hand. Turns the ace. James, I'm going to take a stab here. Understandable. Drawing to Broadway. Queen of Hearts in hand for some potential river bluff opportunities. Jack going nowhere here with top pair. Yeah, Hart seems like a very good candidate to bluff as James. Well, instead, Jack improves now to top and bottom pair. He wasn't sure he was good. He's certainly sure now. Yeah, so it's a well time shutdown because once uh, Jack like check, checks back flop and then calls our turn bet, like he's not going to have much Jack X in there. They're just going to bet flop. So he will be weighted more to an ace a lot of the time, which we're going to have difficulty folding out by the river. And we yeah. do actually beat some stuff as well, like some seven, eight hearts and nine, seven of hearts, this type of stuff. Yeah, absolutely. I like this from Jack. Recognizing here that he's pretty polar on this river. Basically going to be betting two pair plus or bluffs. So it does go for the 2x pot. Trying to get called by an ace. Trying to get hero called, uh, unfortunately for him. James with just King High lets it go. See the chip counts, guys. Carl, 31k. Mauricio had a good evening so far, 15k. 11k or so for James Mahone, nice start for him. Stato continuing the rebuild after a rocky Friday night poker thus far. So when does it end tonight? Don't know. Level 14 levels. I don't know. And whoever's in after that makes tomorrow. Yeah. I don't really play tournaments, innit? So. Yeah. I actually was playing a lot of DC dealers, choice stud oh, yeah. games. I don't know, I like playing, but I don't really know. It's a ruthless game. If you played high stakes, Open from Carl on the button, stand-up game on, so 8 do soft finds its way in there, and that that's just not fair. You shouldn't be able to take your seat like that, a raise and take with the 8 do soft suit. That shouldn't be allowed. Carl's world, mate. Right, this is mine. Yeah. Oh, mine's somewhere in there. So around about 30 minutes to go until we reveal the winner of the giveaway. Yeah, the At the moment, Carl with 31k seems to be the active stack. No, 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 Need no, him no, to no. get a move on if I want an extra Guinness over <laughs> in Dublin in a week's oh, yeah. time. What did I guess? 27 and a half and you guessed 42? I thought you said 2700. Ah, <laughs> 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 yeah, you said 27 and a half. I went with 42. So, uh, what's that? Uh, 14 and a half, 7,250. 34, 750 is the line. I've got the overs on 34, 750. You've got the unders. All right, Carl. Di dial it down, mate. Go for a walk. <laughs> <laughs> good luck to everyone that is participating in that giveaway we got 25 minutes uh, it may not be directly on half past it will be the hand before half past the last hand before half past if we start a hand at 28 past and it finishes at 32 that will be the final hand when we will close it off uh, great from DTD throwing some tokens at you guys Give me diamonds, diamonds. Could be used. Yes, this is got, looking a bit That's a nice got one. Keep a couple of surprises. Um, yeah, we love it. We love oh, a spin-up story as well. Anyone else got a jack? Already had a few of those. Seven, eight to make a story. Tickets we've given away on stream. Players have parlayed those up to some nice wins. Always remember the Glyn Wellings one. Nice to chop the DTD 100 when we gave away a ticket for a shade under 10k. Yellow flip time. Six, seven, eight of hearts for Carl. Once more, not flush. 
the fading board pairs, not yet. Six on the turn. There has to be a boat out there. I'm not having it, but the nut flush is going to win here. There will be a boat. Somewhere that just has to be. I don't know, man. All night long, we've been, we've had some mediocre holdings winning. Not that the nut flush is mediocre, but you understand my point. In a six-card flip. He hasn't done it again, has he? I'll take that, please. Oh, you need an eight. Eight, seven, or six? No good. Oh, you're not seeing that, Scala, yeah? I don't know, just eight. Tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow. Gabriel, no good. He's done it again. Yeah, tomorrow. How does he do it? How is there not a boat out there? <laughs> Eight way on a paired board, five card PLO, no boat present. Another one goes the way of the dream crusher. Carl, 32 and a half, creeping upwards. Anybody with guesses close to that? A little sweat for you in the next 20 minutes or so. It is the ultimate. Mike Leonard, what's the question for giveaway, Peter Mark? Mike Leonard, what's the giveaway saying? Sorry, guys, you missed it. Got it. tune in earlier to Friday Night Poker to be active for this one in the future, guys. Hope you're in the mix. I've got some bad news as well, Andrew. I've just had a little look up the chat, and uh, it looks like at the moment, if we stop the count here, it would be Ben Lafferty. Oh, uh, no. <laughs> so if the count was stopped right now, <laughs> oh my goodness, Ben would be victorious. But well, we've still got 22 minutes of poker. <laughs> Luckily for me, Jay Harwood gets to announce the giveaway on Friday Night Poker. Can't do that to me. We just can't. <laughs> oh, oh, ben. Ben. ben Lafferty, creativity at its finest. Right, Mauricio, Jack eight suited makes the call. Gabriel with ace seven o is gonna bump this one up, Jay. Makes it four fifty. Look at this Stato. Stand up game is on. Of course he recognizes it. Licks it in. Mauricio gonna do the same. Two of these players both still haven't got rid of their token. You see the little yellow dot guys next to their name. Stand up game is on. Going three ways here. 7-4 deuce. Great flop for Gabriel. Did I so here with just a 7. One of the best flops in the deck for him. It's three ways. Stato flops a gut shot. Does have an overcard. See what size Gabriel comes with here. Don't think we ever check. Just want to start putting chips in the pot. Essentially the nut one pair hand. We hear about eights or better pre-flop. Yeah, it feels like a good one to go large, Jay. Just in that field. Got to get protection for our hand. It goes 900 pounds. Stato, with that speculative call pre, has flopped pretty well, but recognizes, you know, Gabriel being fairly snug, only with 4K behind. Doesn't seem like a great spot to go after. Does get out of the way. Shrewd decision. And Jules in the chat asks, can you explain the stand-up game, please? Uh, pretty simple concept. Everyone will get a yellow chip at the start, or green chip. And when you win a hand, you show your hand, you lose that chip. Last person with a chip pays everyone £200 at the table. So essentially a £1,600 swing. So you don't want to be the last person standing. Otherwise, you'll be forking out some money to the rest of the table. Yeah, pretty big sweat we saw in the graphic there. Three players still have their chip. Need to get rid of it. Scali, Mauricio, and Stato. Often causes carnage duels towards the end when there's only two or three players left. They have to get after it, get in there with some wide holdings, unless they want to pay the table 1600 We see a raise from Carl. Six, seven of diamonds in the hijack. Scali in there. One of these speculative hands that we just described. 9-7 off. Looking to win a pot. Get rid of his button. 
Stato in there, queen five suited. James and Mauricio with some weak holdings of their own. Going five ways here. Five ways, the best hand is ace three off. And wow, what a flop for ace three off. Three, three deuce with two clubs. James somehow 96% here in a five way coup. I'd be surprised if it doesn't check through though. But saying that, Mauricio just going to take <laughs> initiative here on the bottom with the king five. He wants his seat. Yeah, I don't mind a small stab. I mean, it's not great, of course, with just king five. Now, can James find just call? Fortunately, he's gone fast play. I think if there's ever a candidate, Jay, not to raise, we have ace of clubs in hand. Agreed. Like we yeah. have a player who wants to get his seat. Seems like a reasonable one to just call. Fortunately for him. Mauricio with a very dusty combo to continue. Let's it go. Cards back in the air. Round to Mauricio. King 9 0. And come in for a raise from the cutoff. Makes it 200 to go. Yeah, really getting after it. That's Mauricio here. Trying to take that seat. And uh, Gabriel here. 7 8 suited on the button. Nice one to use. 100 plus effective. We'll find these sort of middle in suited connectors. Middle in suited. One gappers getting in the mix in the free bet range at this stack depth. Yeah, I really like this from Gabriel. He's shown he's got some moves, and I think he has a relatively tight image, Jay, which is helpful when we go for these light three bets. Also, of course, knows Mauricio has to be very wide from cutoff if he wants to get rid of that button. Always fascinating to watch the stand up game dynamics. Players able to three bet a little wider against the players who are desperate to win a hand. Nicely timed from Gabriel. Can we let him in? Is it? Can we buy it? Yeah, 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 of course, sure. Some hundred again, yeah? Safe. Not. Not. Just carry on. Don't make it fun. One of the man's sad, if he wants. I know, I'm down already, lads. Yeah, we ain't going to make you play the blinds. <laughs> <laughs> I would have, but I mean, it's only courtesy. Peter asking if you have to show your hand, even if not at showdown. You must win a hand, either at showdown or not, no, my friend. And then, yeah, you must show your two cards. Or the players can pull you up on it and say you didn't show them. Unlucky. But yeah, got to win a hand, show both cards, and then you get rid of your button. Raise here from James, ace three once more on the button. Stato in the small says it's time to three bet. King eight of clubs, very reasonable combo to use, especially when the stand-up game is on and you want to get rid of that button. Makes it 1.2k to go. Yeah, and another little additive here, James isn't in the stand-up game anymore, so he's not inclined to battle for pots, so it's a great right. customer choice as well. And does get it through with a king eight suited. Nicely done from Stato. He will take his seat. Scully and Maurizio hate to see that. Yeah, heads up now, Scali and Mauricio. The loser will pay 1,600 quid or so to the rest of the table. Yeah, and uh, interesting point. Scali sitting there with 3.3k, and uh, like with it being a 1,600 pound swing, if like Scali gets dealt like something like Ace Jack, he can just actually play open shoves here, Andrew. Now, right, like sort of rule of thumb with the stand-up game, whatever the swing is. So say, say if it's like a thousand pound swing, if you've got 2k in your stack, it's okay to start playing some of these open jams with holdings like that, just trying to get it through. Oh my word! And then he gets dealt Ace Jack the very next hand, <laughs> right on cue, but doesn't go for the open rip. Goes for open for 300. 
But now this is what's going to happen. We're going to get a lot of calls. We're going to have to navigate in a multi-way field. But imagine if he just sent this. What timing that would have been. He's some kind of read the future savant, Mr. Harwood. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> I ran out to the feature table 30 minutes ago for this moment. I hear you, though. I, I actually really would have liked open jam. But what you do instead is create one of the biggest pots of the night. Look at this. Nut flush draw Scali, second nut flush draw Mauricio, and Anthony sitting there with trip sixes. This is going in, Jay, I think, three ways. You can see it. You want to win that button, then? Yeah. 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 What an outrageous yeah. setup post here. And how does Mauricio proceed? Because effective stack is just that of Anthony. I just think this is going to get in. I'm all in. Yeah, Mauricio raising, and now Anthony all in. Scally unlikely to go anywhere here with the nut flush draw. And Mauricio is probably going to be priced. Here we go. Multi-way, three-way all in post. Mauricio in dreadful shape here, 3%. He's a backdoor straight, Jay, or backdoor kings. Only way out of it for Mauricio. So, Scali needs to find a heart. And to be fair, Anthony does deserve one this evening. Oh man, this would be grim. Here we go. £15,000, folks, in the middle. Two players hunting hearts. One player hunting holds. And that will do it. How's that for a hold? The daily quads. Six of diamonds turn. And the heart came as well, so oh, there's the four of so hearts. So they are running it twice, so great move. river for Anthony. Terrific to see. Can Scally get there? Oh, well, Mauricio so can win it with so a four. Offsuit four would get the job done. Oh, Anthony can fade a heart or an offsuit four. He's going to oh, scoop. Oh, oh, Mauricio, no. how did you do so it? <laughs> What is going on this evening? <laughs> My goodness. Win that pot is with the back door off suit straight or the running kings and somehow Moon walks his way into it. <laughs> Unbelievable. Now, Jay, with the stand-up rules, it stays on because he didn't win the first one. Is that the yep. case? Anthony won the first board, so both Maurizio and Scali will still need to win a pot to take their seats. Well, what happens yeah, now, Jay, if Scally yeah, just decides yeah, not to rebuy? Does Mauricio have to pay the table? That would be no, brutal. That, that's not usually the case. What would happen okay. is uh, Maurizio uh, would, if, if Scally said, I'm not playing anymore, Maurizio wouldn't have to pay the bounty and Scally would have to still pay the bounty. Even if he wasn't coming back, he'd, be, he'd have to give everyone 200 quid and then be on his way. So it's an awkward situation, but I'm not sure the <laughs> rules off the table how they are doing it but that would be the standard procedure in the stand-up game in this unique scenario we have had some outrageous runouts in the multi-way all-ins stato lose in the horrific one earlier to the one outer he still finds it chops it up and anthony Owen. and on we go yeah yeah we're either playing buttons not on or we wait yeah but it's just random, isn't it? Like, yeah. Break, fucking hell. Is he in the dust now? Has he gone straight? Can you see him in the dust? It's just random that that happened, isn't it? It's like, we're not going to wait the whole game. Yeah, cool. Break, break, break when you're down there. Stato is ruthless. Ruthlessness from the Stato. Basically, someone suggested that they wait for Scally uh, to go and get some chips before they play on. Uh, because Maurizio obviously still with his chip in front of him, but Stato says it's just random, it could happen to anyone, let's get on with it, and off we go. Yeah. So if Mauricio gets rid of that chip before Scali gets back, then Scali has to pay, is that what it, we're saying? Exactly right, Andrew. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, it's a savage game. <laughs> He's going to be sprinting back from that. He's going to be test. fuming, isn't he? <laughs> it's a dog-eat-dog -dog world. Stato in there with the crabs. Pocket threes, raising the cutoff. Jack O'Neill, King Queen Owen the small. Gonna use this one as a three bet once more. Makes it 750 to go. 
And Stato here with the baby pair. Are we deep enough, Jay? Do we want to be peeling I, this one? I think we are. I think we can come along as Stato. It was a bit different when he had deuces on the button because Anthony only had 3k in his stack. But when we are 7.5k effective, effective, essentially 150 BBs, I think fine to right. come along here as Stato with position. It does make the call. Two of UK poker's most esteemed tournament poker names going after each other here. Deuce in the window, followed by a queen and an eight. Jack takes the lead here. Yeah, and queen eight, deuce rainbow. Just seems like one we want to bet with our top pair, probably around the third pot size in on this texture. with just north of third <laughs> and started with the threes looks like does want to take one off get a nearly four to one with position here still ahead of all this ace high king higher type stuff that hasn't connected that will be in the range of jack it does get sticky five of spades turn some of the most treacherous spots these we find in No Limit. With these baby pairs, really is a lot of guesswork involved, Jay, at times, and you're just hoping your opponent slows down. Yeah, but I don't think that's going to be the case with Jack's holding here. I think King Queen just happy to continue putting chips in. I think the way this game's playing as well, Stato not going to have too much ace queen. I think that's going to be one that four bets at fairly high frequency pre flop. So, as right. Jack go after some queen jack, queen 10 suited, queen 9 suited will be in there. And uh, another great thing as well the 8 on board for all this 8 9 of spades, 8 10 of spades type stuff will pick up a flush draw as well. So, it seems like a very good opportunity to put some more chips in. But Stato straight out of there with the freeze. Yeah, very well played by both. We see Carl hovering around 32.3k. We've only got seven minutes or so left, Jay. Oh no, Ben Lafferty. He's done it to us. There's still time. <laughs> there is still time. <laughs> I'm telling you right now, I'm not announcing that name. I, 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 I value my work. <laughs> Oh dear, what a world. Guys, if you are just joining in the YouTube streets, Friday Night Poker World Series of Poker Circuit Edition. Very enjoyable lineup. Great action thus far. I am Andrew Headley, joined by the Lionel Messi of Poker Analysis. We'll continue the poker, th the football themed suggestions. Mr. Jay Harwood. Thanks very much, Andrew. Kind words. Lionel Messi, no one's ever you Messi, me that before. I gave you yeah, Messi, mate. No, I've never had that before. I might, <laughs> actually, I, I may have had it a few times on the football pitch. May have, may have had it a few times Oof. on the football pitch. <laughs> Four, five suited for Stato. Raises to 150. And ace eight suited for Jack. Just going to call on the button. Yeah, slow spell for Carroll. Scally in there. It has reloaded. So we believe the stand-up game is still on between him and Mauricio. Would make sense. Mauricio completing Jack 6-0. Four ways to the flop. Five in the window, followed by the six and the seven. Stato, bottom pair, open-ender. Open-ended straight draw. Backdoor nut flush draw for Jack. Middle pair for Mauricio. Nothing much working for Scally. Jack going to take a free one here. Very coordinated board. Makes a lot of sense. You can get people to bluff if you improve. And he does. Nine of spades. Very awkward spot now for Stato. Can't really put any chips in this pot. Round to yeah. Jack on the button. Four way here. Don't think any merit in checking for Jack. Just want to put some chips in with our turn straight. Time to get value, target some flush draws, some two pair type holdings. Filter out these custard shots. Does yeah. bet 500. Close to pot. <laughs> Don't think Mauricio can ever continue. Very tricky this for Stato J. You know, even against, even if we are in front, hands are going to have a lot of equity against us. It makes a very disciplined laydown. 
Gets full pot, Jake. Not much to be done. Another pot goes the way of Mr. Jack O'Neill. So probably going to get one or two more hands in. And then we'll get the count. And then we will re we'll reveal the winner of the giveaway. Can tell you at the moment, Carl is sitting on 32.3k. The fact that the button has passed Carl as well now. If he doesn't play a hand in the next two hands, that will be the set stack. I'm having a quick look through the guesses in chat. There are a few people with a sweat. They do need Carl to get after it. Rooting their man on. See Ray's Anthony. Ace eight suited. Jack. I've seen him three bet King Queen off religiously, deciding to call on this occasion. Nice to see though that it's good to have mixes with this hand and we'll call sometimes, sure. we'll free bet sometimes. And Maurizio trying to get that chip off his back. Still heads up for the stand up game with Skelly. Yeah, does make the call. 6 7 0. Gabriel out of the way with ace nine. Three ways. What a flop this is. Jack 10 3. Two hearts. Not flush draw for Anthony. Jack here, open ended, two over cards. Does have position, Jay. Certainly potential to check this one back, I would suggest. He is going to take the bet and lead. Yeah. Nice little check from Anthony as well. Kind of a theory check, hijack cut off. We do play a lot of checks out of position to the player on our direct left, and maybe one could go for check raise with as Anthony hit. That looks like calling chips, just going to take his equity to the turn out of position. To Jack O'Neill. Which is the four of spades. So Jack's still here with King Queen. And probably doesn't think that Anthony's working with too much Jack X. Maybe, maybe makes the assumption that Anthony's going to bet his Jack X or better on flop. So maybe think he's capped at a 10 at best and could potentially blast that off by a river. But going to take a free card. Which is the four of diamonds. So ace high of Anthony will be best if this gets the showdown. Yeah, I think you can go either way with Jack's hand. Does have some nice blockers to hands like King Jack of Clubs, Queen Jack of Spades. They decide to take the free one. Now, Anthony checks once more. I think Jack with a decision here whether to go for maybe like a small value bluff looking size in J or just check. Six, six. Decides it could potentially win at showdown. Fairly infrequently, it does check, gives it up. Ace high of Anthony gets it done. Yeah, and I make it 29 past 10. So we are going to squeeze one more. one more hand in. So this is going to be the final hand before we get the chip counts up for the giveaway. So it all rests on this. Carl Shaw with the biggest stack. So unless Carl plays a pot. Or this pot, it will be thirty-two thousand three hundred pounds in this stack. And let's see what occurs. Here we go. Here we go, indeed. Good luck, everybody. And here he is. Oh, out the way. Thirty-two point three k. We will get confirmation. We'll get the chip counts up after this hand. But I'm going to have a quick scale down the chat box. I think I know who could the, who the winner could be this evening for the giveaway. It is a good game, I can't lie. It needs to be taken every poker I'll table. take us through the hand while Jay's doing that. Open from Scally. Jack six of spades. Mauricio in there. Pocket fours in the small. Makes the call. Gabriel out of the way. As is James with 950. Yeah. Oh, as is, I spoke too soon. James is not out of the way. It's the call with the 95. Stato folding. Jack four in the straddle. 
1k pot here. <laughs> the less than stellar hands. Oh. Oh. Ace, seven, three. No player improves. Mauricio still best here with pocket fours. Of course, can't know it. I believe the stand up game is still on between these two. And Mauricio gonna get sticky. Recognizing that Scally needs to win this pot. The game's over. To get rid of that button. Makes the call with just a pair of fours. Does improve. Good gut shot to the wheel. And Scally with a very unappetizing holding to barrel off. Does shut it down. Mauricio here gets the check mark. Will win at showdown. Unless he folds his hand. I and mean, this is why the the stand up game's so ridiculous because it's going to check to <laughs> Scally, and it's like it's 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 really weird because it's either we we bluff, and we potentially lose more money, and we or we check back and we do sixteen hundred quid. It's it's a horrible position to be in for Scally here, and Maurizio going for seven hundred pound on the river, and Scally before he even yes, makes his fold. decision is already tossing two hundred pound to everyone around the table. <laughs> so I'm guessing that means fold. And the Maurizio will get to take his seat. Scully, rough 20 minutes for him. He's going to be Imagine he jammed, team. Jay. Jay, imagine oh, he jammed now. Oh, that would have been amazing <laughs> if he could have found the jam there. The, the sickest play in history. Everybody at the table, 100 quid. Oh, oh three paid. Oh, three paid. Oh, that would have been, yeah. Yeah. That would have been then one of the best show. things I've ever I seen if he'd done that. <laughs> would have been great. Right, guys. It, guys. That was the Jay, last take hand. it away. Last hand before half past 10, and I've looked down the chat box and uh, have confirmed that Carl Stack, you can see top left of your screen right now, 32.3K. And the winner on YouTube is Ben Lafferty, who guessed £32,200. I'm going to throw it over to the lead commentator if he wants to read out the GG username. What an absolutely ridiculous guess, by the way, from Ben. <laughs> Unbe hundred pounds off. Hundred That's outrageous. Quid off. Well done, Ben. One hundred and twenty-five dollar ticket will be coming your way to that Mediterranean poker party taking place in the summer, and we wish the Fizz Warrior all the, the Fizz luck Warrior. Yeah, right. Well done. Good Enough save, said. Andrew. Good save. Thanks, mate. You know, you know, I know what to do in these spots. Uh, well done, Ben. Good luck, mate. Keep us posted. Let us know how you do. Hopefully, you parlay that Saty ticket into a live ticket to Cyprus. Good luck, mate. All right, back into the action we go. Three ways here. Jack, top and bottom pair with the King Nine. Stato got shot to Broadway. And just one there. middle pair. Going to be better than Jack. Plenty to get called by out there. And Stato with one of those hands. Do expect Ace Jack to call once here with the Broadway draw, but discipline lay down from Stato. Just letting it go, and we get action from Anthony with the middle pair. Deuce of hearts on the turn. No improvement for Anthony. Jack still best here, top and bottom. That's just going to be another street of value. Might be sizing up now once does bring the flush draw on the turn. And also we want to be thinking about getting the chips in by the river with our hand as Jack. Get called by King Queen and King Jack. Maybe 9, 10 could still be in there. So we want to choose that larger size in to potentially set up a pot size river jam on most rivers. Yeah, I'm with you. Nice to not have a heart in our hand. I'm going to get some continues from Anthony. Hands like 10x of hearts, Jack x of hearts type holdings. As it stands, very difficult decision here with just second pair against a capable opponent. Yeah, Jack opening from plus one. We'll still have all these strong holdings, the ace king, the aces, king ten. All the sets, so just going to have to get out there from Anthony. Good fold, not getting sticky. A very strong performance so far from yeah, Jack. A, Coke, a lot of strong performances this evening, guys. If you are yeah. just joining Friday Night Poker, yeah. 
10 25 pound 50 pound stakes some big stacks on the table myself andrew headley and jay harwood covering the action we've got about another hour and a half or so left of the coverage we'll stick with us oh yeah sweet i'm due one you never won one i've played two of these games never won one yet i am due just give him apple. I want to win. Apple, yeah. Just trigger him in apple. Apple, great. Strawberries, all the good stuff. I just want one apple in the bowl. You see another dealer change. You know what that means, Jay? Time for another six card PLO Flip Fiesta. Uh, I'll tell you what, if if two pair or a flush wins on a pair board this time, I'm just, I'll leave you to do the rest of the stream by yourself because it can't keep happening. <laughs> Mathematically improbable. Then we go eight way and there's paired boards and no one's rocking up with a boat. It just can't keep happening. Imagine not even remember. Never say never, my friend. I'm thinking about a load of other things right now. I don't believe it. Like wishing the seven deuce game was on. Seven deuce. Ooh. I've got to say as well, Andrew, what are the chances? We probably had 40, 50 guesses in the chat box that the name you picked out from the start saying, I hope he doesn't win, is the person that ends up winning it. It's great. It's actually now, great. To be clear, I didn't hope he didn't win. I just hoped that I, I wouldn't be contractually obliged to announce said username. Right, OK. I wish Ben the very best of luck in his endeavours. Oh, we both do. <laughs> <laughs> and oh yeah, that was a wild one. Good luck, Ben. He's just come into the chat as well, actually. So, very best of luck, buddy. Let us know how you get on. It looks like Jack 10, 9, 8 at the moment. No flush present. That might have brought the flush in on the river. If not, Ace King would be the nuts. Fortunately, no whole cards for this one. So we'll just have to see who gets pushed the pot. It's a real sweat for us. Sweat with the table. Why can you put a king on the end? You two both got a king eye straight. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Someone needs to measure their cards. Yeah. Nice. Is that a roll over? So it looks like it's going to be chopped between. There you go, Jay. Just a straight on the just paired a board. Straight. Just a straight. No, there's no, there's no paired board there, is there? Eight, nine, ten, Jack Queen. There? No, eight, nine, ten, Jack Queen. Ace oh, King was Excuse me, I thought I saw two nines. That's it. Loving this from Ben Lafferty. He doesn't even know what he's won, Jay. <laughs> he's on the troll, the lads. I'm not even answering that. <laughs> I've just seen someone in the chat put 50k. <laughs> so cards back in the air. Moving. The most hands I've ever seen Carl Shaw fold in a row. Ace three O into the muck. Scally, Ace Jack of Spades, amazes to three hundred pounds. James in there, Jack ten O from the small. Anthony completing. As does Jack. King four off. King in the window, followed by i5 and a deuce. Top pair for Jack, middle pair and backdoor nut flush draw for Anthony. Nothing for anyone else as yet. Queen of spades rolls off on the turn, brings open-ended straight draw for James. Got shot to Broadway for Scally. Jack still best here with a pair of kings. He looks to get some value and protection on the turn. Yeah, a lovely little turn to see as well. We get some calls from Queen X now once we put chips in. And this stuff like Ace Jack, Ace 10, Jack 10 all picking up straight draw. 
Anthony, it's your turn. <laughs> Done this a few times this evening, the lad. Yeah, James calls in position here. Does is drawing to the nuts. Potential to win a big one. We do go heads up to this river. Is a brick. Eight of clubs. Jack here in position, Jay. Feels like we can still go for a little bit of value. Yeah, target a queen specifically here. The thing I will say, James, from the small blind, once we go five way, I think he will do a lot of double check in with his king X as well. Like if he's got like king yeah. six, king seven, king nine, like these are hands that five way will check twice once flop checks through. So it's actually fairly close for Jack here, whether to go for value or not. But sense is on point. Feels like he's got the best of it. Unfortunately, James with Jack Hyatt will just get out of there. Yeah. Notable that he downsized ever so slightly here. Targeting that Queen X that Jay referenced. Good instincts from Jack, uh, unfortunately for him. Just Jack high for James. Quietly gathering momentum now, Jack. He's won several pots in a row. Look at this, we got a little bit of negotiating going on in the chat. About people trying to buy his ticket. I'm not having that. I know, as if what I say. Shame on you, buddy. <laughs> of course you're banned, it's a you're banned, pal. <laughs> Of course it's a SIPO trying to buy a satellite trying ticket. Trying to get the value. Shambles. I've got a great story about a SIPO, but I'll save it for Ireland. I've got one of the best stories ever about that man. Alright. <sighs> I want to I want to see the Fizz Warrior erupt to success, eh? Do you like that? There we go. <laughs> you can't <laughs> Fizz, he's fizzy. Yeah, yep. <laughs> Game real, face to 300. Yeah. Called by James and Anthony in the big. Interesting, Anthony electing not to 3-bet pre. Has a very disguised strong hand now on the ace 7-6 board. Nothing much working for Gabriel or for James. Action on... James does check through. What a turn card that is, Jay. Eight of spades. Opens up a queen high flush draw for Gabriel. Open-ended straight draw for James. Anthony here. Going to go for value with his top pair. It's gone very small, Jay, on this dynamic board. Yeah, it could have definitely gone bigger sizing on the two-tone. But just a small south of 30% sizing. Definitely going to keep Gabriel interested. Do you think he could ever read into this size as weak as Gabriel and actually go for a raise here, like a bit of an exploit with the Queen Jack of Spades? Just making an assumption that Anthony's going to go larger with his strong holdings. He has, gone, he has gone for it, Jay. You have yeah. called it. Bumping it up to 9.50. Not going to work on this occasion, but I'm actually a really big fan of this because I'm probably going to read into that size in the same like Anthony has a one pair holding, a weak one pair holding that's trying to see a river cheaply and we can just attack that, but unfortunately for us, Anthony actually with the ace-queen here and does make the call. River incoming. Gabriel hunting a spade. Doesn't find it, but does River himself some showdown value with a jack. Liable to slow down the action on the river you would expect. Can now just win at showdown if Anthony checks. Decision on Anthony here with his queen. Yeah, I think uh, we want to check and keep some bluffs in of our opponent. And obviously, when they raise on the turn for value, repping two pair plus stronger than ours. But Anthony may have other ideas, does check. And Gabriel now got a clear check behind. Once we pick up the showdown, go in front of some stuff like 8 9, 8 10, 7 9, all this that can be in the range of Anthony. A little one for Anthony Owo.
What are the cash games? Is there like probably sort of other sort of big cash games like one K sit downs and that? Uh, yeah, yeah, like yeah, that's the five, def definitely that. Two quite, five. They're quite good with like ca letting you put a yeah. list together and letting you just open a game. Yeah, you call it five, ten, or two five, and then yeah, you can yeah. start to get it to you know, at least twenty five and sometimes. Should we try to get a good game on it. Yeah. yeah, that'd be good. Action round to Gabriel. Holds a six of spades in the hijack. Round to Anthony. Beautiful looking king queen of clubs. Makes it 300. We haven't heard much from Carl for a while. Decides on call. Jack 10 of spades. Scally completing out of the straddle here with pocket threes. It can't go either way with a Jack 10 suited as Carl. Just opt into call. Just in shock that he didn't take the aggressive route, Jay. I King was. eight six with two diamonds. Anthony still best. Good see bet around about third pot. Scally not gone his way this evening thus far. Did get there with kings against aces, but it's been unfortunately a downward trajectory since. Anthony rallying. What's that? What would you have been anyway? I'd have been 25. I'd have been 25. 25, now you're 50. Wait, is that how we... Well, I don't... I mean, whatever, I don't care. Just play it the same as it was before. Alright, so now... You were 50 last time? No, no, no. He was 100. He was 50. So it's the same. Fine, just do this. 100, Mauricio. If you want it, you don't have to. Yeah, you do. I won't moan, but if I was losing, you know I'd moan. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking about moaning. See, see, win or lose, I don't moan. Maybe a little bit if I lose you too much. Did you raise or? <laughs> raise 100. I hope someone bins you, honestly. 100. <clears throat> on Mauricio under the gun jack 10 of clubs we wait for the action tracker to catch up ace six seven one club doesn't look like his heads up versus Anthony not too much working for him here just gonna check fold to the small probe seven you got like super spy glasses on, you just see all my cards now, yeah? Action folds around to Jack on the button. Let's it go. Carl now, queen three of clubs. In the small blind. Scally has had enough. Raised to 250 from Carl. Scally sends it in. Shade under 3K with the queen jack of diamonds. You know what they say, money. You know that old saying, don't you? Money goes to money. Carl's slow rolling. Carl call off here. I b believe Carl may have jammed. Ace Jack four. Galley big favorite. Oh, Seven of spades turn and Queen three is dead. That happened out of nowhere. Carl just decided. You're so sick. You're so sick. Ah! Right, making him sweat. Oh my god. Making him sweat. Oh, hey, that's so sick. <laughs> well, you turn black cards as well, I thought, yeah. don't we? 1490. Yeah. You're a funny guy, you know. Fuck you, know. <laughs> Carl there, oh, deciding to run think. one pre. Shade under 3,000 pounds. Nice pickup for Scally. <laughs> <laughs> to find some momentum here. 
we approach the last hour or so of the stream. About 75 minutes left of coverage this evening. Hope you guys are enjoying the coverage. We we'll certainly always enjoy bringing it to you from the booth. Looking forward to the rest of the week. We have the World Series of Poker Circuit Main Event Final Table. That's coming your way on Sunday. Myself and Jay will be back covering that event to its conclusion. We will crown our champion of the landmark main event this week at Dust Till Dawn. Action on James. Ace 10 off under the gun. Going to make it 150 to go. Carl deciding that now is the time to get after it. Makes it 800 and Scally cold finds the ace king. Finds a great spot to get it in pre. Chips it in there for 6k. Carl. You know it was coming as well. You know, you know. He called again. It's the winning hand. I'll call it right now. Side back. That's the winning hand. He has called it off. King four off. I've got to get a cup of tea and come back to this. What's going on? Carl's going ballistic. We, he just jammed pre with queen three suited. Lost to the queen jack of Scally. And now it has squeeze called it off with king four all. Oh my word. He's going mental, the lad. Three, five, jack. No good thus far. Oh my oh, goodness. Wow, Four again. of diamonds turn. <laughs> Scally now needs to improve. My goodness me. The dream crusher at it again. Wow. Carl Shaw just deciding. I've had enough of people cold ripping it on me. Clicks in the call for six grand, Jay. Drills the three outer. My word. I come back, I see it's got all in pre. I didn't know how it got all in pre. Me either. I thought I announced it wrongly. I said, well, that'll be the hand done. Not in Carl's world. My goodness. That's got me the sick. You know what's going on the front of their Insta. Look at this for a crazy all in. It's fucking 10 free suited. Uh, fucking, uh, I've chucked it in quite bad. Scally wouldn't blame him, Jay, if he was done for the night. After that one, I'd be off oh. to the bar, Andrew. I'd just be. My goodness. <laughs> Demoralizing, that is. Was on the spin up. Had doubled just the hand before, up to 6k. Crazy, crazy stuff. Carl finds it. And this is the thing about Carl. He'll go quiet for 45 minutes or so, but then suddenly it's like someone just flicks a switch and right back at it. Not with him all in, you all in. Fuck it, no chance. Anyone fancy in game? Wild hand. I haven't been informed. We will have a new player taking the seat. To the left of Carl. Arrival is imminent. Casting my mind back, Jay, I believe Carl won an outrageous pot with King Four in a cash game. So maybe it's his hand. You know, maybe it's just that's the one that anytime I get it, I'm not folding. It was King 3. I know the hand that you're oh. talking about. I covered it. Vinny versus Carl. King 3 off versus 7-5 off all in pre 25k pot. I remember. Ah, what's I rem the difference, right? Uh, King 3, King 4. Yeah, same thing, isn't it? No no real difference there. <laughs> Maybe it's the, the offsuit high-low King X that, that he likes. Shaw Solver lands on call. Wins a big one. Jack now. Stand-up game back on. You can see the little yellow dots by the players' names. Jack O'Neill raising ace jack off from the hijack. James and Anthony both in the mixer. Pocket sevens for James. The suited Doyle Brunson for Anthony. He does flop best. Action flop. 10, 8, 9. All players working with something. Open ended straight draws for Jack and James. Weak top pair for Anthony. He's going to go with the lead here from the straddle, Jay. A couple of decisions incoming for the other two players. I think we're just going to see cool, cool most of the time here. And off to the turn. Uh, 
And that turn is the Ace of Spades. Jack takes the lead. Very interesting. Anthony now improves to four spades and deciding now to turn his hand into a bluff, Jay. 1k into 1.9. Jack with Ace Jack. Obviously cannot go anywhere. Turning top pair and up and down to go alongside it. Should be losing James here though after this action in front of him. Oh, and what a river card that is, Jay, for a disguised two pair. Jack O'Neill going to have a very tough time getting away here. Uh, got a call versus quarter pot. Would have been a tough decision versus a bigger size, but against quarter, I don't see how we can ever fold here as Jack versus Anthony specifically. But we'll see if he can make the hero the lay down. Look at the instincts, Jay. Look at the instincts. He's not happy. Feels like his hand is no good. I wasn't lying, your ace was good. Just just not in the river. <laughs> uh, that ace of spades gives me even more outs. Sorry. Don't be sorry. I'm, I'm on Jack one of them. Now. Begrudgingly I'm pays it back. off. Yeah, nice pot for Anthony. <laughs> I almost didn't show. <laughs> and the momentum, Jay, after a bad start to the stream. It's up to a shade under 14k. Bad. If he goes all in, you don't yeah. know what to do. Yeah. Could have been a fair yeah. amount yeah. more yeah. if he yeah. held yeah. with the trip sixes versus two flush draws but ended up right. chopping that one that was a huge pop the amount of freeway all-ins i've been in tonight oh, and he's yeah. talking about it now well dead certs and then one out is <laughs> i can't complain or hitting that eight was fucking lucky yeah that was a mad one that was mad sorry action on carl jack nine of spades makes it 300 Jay referenced this earlier. You want to get in there early in the stand-up game. The feature of Sorry, Carl's game it does seem to be aware. Let's get it done quickly. Let's pick up two calls. And what about this? Jack. Flopping trip fives. Gut shot straight draw for Anthony only. Carl with just Jack high. I think the stand-up no game doors. on though is going to relentlessly see oh. better. Goes to the over pet with wow. the continue. Full pot from Carl. Jack, loving life. Can he find a just call, Jay? Yeah, he will, will do. Look to fast play. Does yeah. find it. Against Carl here, we're just always calling. Same scenario as earlier when can have a lot of hands in his range that are drawing dead when we've got such a lock on the board. But wet turn card rolls off in the form of the nine of clubs. Yeah, really interesting. Jack improves the top pair, but recognizes all the draws get there. We don't need to make a six-fold on the turn. One of the only hands we really beat. But look at this from Jack. Finds the triple check. And he gets Carl to value bet. Carl thinks his hand is good. Bets 3.2k. Jack, with that very nice river check, gets himself an additional 3,200 pounds. Pretty unfortunate run out for Carl with his image. Yes. Feels like he has to go for value. Jack with trip fives. They take that one down. Yeah, great awareness from Jack as well. Just, I think a lot of people want to go check, check, just immediately bet river. But just sure. understanding the opponent we're up against, and maybe it looks like we have a six once we check the river and Carl will attack once he realizes that. So, very tidy check on the end there from Jack. Very well played hand by both. The last sort of 60 minutes or so, guys, of tonight's stream. Friday Night Poker, World Series Circuit Edition. 10, 25, 50 stakes. See Mauricio, ace eight suited, comes in for a race to 300. James on the button, ace queen. I believe he just called. Yeah, Stato over calling, suited ace. Jack in there with the 8 5 suited, as is Carl, the 9 5 0. Oh. We go five ways. Queen 10 7, all diamonds. 
Huge flop for James. Top pair and the nut flush draw. Fortunately for him, everybody has essentially bricked this board. Should be bet and take. And is a complete whiff of the field. One action with that hand, but James just taking it down. And it will take his seat in the stand-up game. Haven't seen too much of James Mahone at a cash table ever, but do know that he does play a lot of tournament poker across the UK. Now, speaking of tournaments, World Series of Poker Circuit Series going on in the background in DTD. They will be coming to the end of 1B, I believe, Jay. Day two tomorrow. Myself and Jay will be in the booth on Sunday covering that main event. The final table, we will cover all of it start to finish before we crown our champion. Looking forward to that one. If you like tournament poker, get in the mix. See Gabriel here raising to 300 with ace nine. Yeah, yeah, thank you. I'm very much rehydrated. Round to Carl. Seven, eight of diamonds. More than good enough. Makes the call. As does Mauricio. Completing. 10-3 suited. We saw him make it work earlier in a huge one. And this could be major action, Jay. Here we go. A6 deuce. Top pair for Gabriel with the nine of diamonds. And two flush draws for Mauricio and Carl. Yeah, and this could be carnage because with the stand-up game on and all three players still the chip in front of them, I don't think anyone going to be getting out of the way and could see some aggressive lines as well. Maybe not on the ace high board once the original opener continues as Gabriel going to have sure. all these strong ace-x hold-ins, but I do tend to see in the stand-up game flush draws being played more aggressively when people still have the chip in front of them. Oh, and Mauricio is going to go for the aggressive line, Jay. There you go. Very interesting. 1.5k. Does have a backdoor straight draw to go with those diamonds. May have tipped the balance in his mind to decide to play this as Rays. Now, what do you do as Gabriel, Jay? This is very uncomfortable. Carl Shaw behind. Yeah, sandwiched in the middle. It's not a nice spot to be in as Gabriel. Not good that we have the nine of diamonds as well. Right. Card that may be used for some bluffing from opponents. So it's a real grim one here with the ace nine. And I really don't know, Andrew, how we're supposed to go about this one. But looks like Gabriel is going to come with call. And he's spot on because does have the best of it. Now over to Carl. Seven, eight suited. Can't see him folding the flush draw back to a straight draw here. Yeah, very interesting. One problem for Carl, of course, we can be dominated by these nut flush draw types that decide to play as check raise, but feels like he's priced in for one more street. Offsuit five could be chaotic. You get the offsuit four, which is not far off it. Carl now improves to a gut shot, as does Mauricio, both with flush draws. Could you, could you imagine this check and through and the five coming on the river? Because no one should oh. ever have seven eight or seven three. I'm mean, so I just think he's got the nuts. So this is uh, very interesting now. Maurizio's been called into two spots. Does he continue running the barrels here, picking up additional equity? And that is a deep reach into those plaques from Maurizio Pius. Oh, it's just a quick counter stack he's just size. Having a look, yeah. Fascinating hand unfolding. Loving this. Did you write on the stream? You're on your way. Very tough to pull trigger here against Call Call. Gabriel with two thirds pop back. This is the thing, like, I'm going to be worried about Call behind, but does just send it into the middle. Puts the absolute cake in. What a sick play this is. This deep, you do have Carl behind you who can potentially have you dead. Fair play to Mauricio for finding this, and Gabriel is right in the blender. Yeah, it's interesting for Gabriel because 5.4 in the pot, so essentially there's 9.2 in there. So 
3.8 to win 9.2. We're getting like 2.7, 2.8 to 1 on a call as Gabriel here. But right. the hands that Maurizio's repping for value, set of deuces, set of sixes, six deuce suited, ace six, ace deuce. Obviously all in front of us here. And nine of diamonds may be one of these cards that are used in the bluffs of our opponent. And I'd be so impressed if he could find the call here, but yeah, I don't see how I we can. can't fault it. What a play from Mauricio Pius. Well played, sir. Takes a lot of heart. to <laughs> x pot rings the bluff bell. <laughs> love it. Love it for the hand. Mauricio. Great hand. Fantastic hand, the poker. Takes a lot of minerals, Jay, to find that for 2x pot when he worked hard all night to build up that stack. Gets it done. Big smile comes off the face of Maurizio after getting that one through. And Jamie Duan takes his seat at the table. Another chaotic element joining the mix. You know that Jamie, not afraid to put his chips to work, Jay. I'm, I'm not on his Christmas card list either after last week. Um, I covered a tournament uh, and uh, Jamie had basically never cashed one of those tournaments before and he had the chip lead on the on the, on the the bubble and I said, well, at least he's cashing this one and uh, guess what? Guess what? <laughs> guess what? <laughs> he did it. He didn't bubble. He, 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 he did not cash. It weren't, it weren't the hard bubble. I think he was too off the money. So, uh, yeah, there you go. Yeah. Uh, very good player, Jamie. You see him a lot. Cash tournaments getting in the mix here for the last hour for this evening. I'm going to throw a question at you, Jay. Oh, go on. S scarfs at the poker t at the poker table. Yes or no? No. <laughs> it's a hard no from me as well. Yeah, I'm a no as well. <laughs> So, so the, uh, some people wear them because of uh, obviously the pulse increasing during hands. Yeah, that's 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 can be an idea why people wear them. If you can't control your emotions, Jay, it's the wrong game for you. <laughs> there you go. No scarves for me. It's it's a hard no from the booth, guys. Let us know in the chat. Scarves or any attire. Let us know. What do you think? What is suitable and unsuitable attire? For the poker table. Don't, don't Here we are. What about shades, Jay? You ever wear shades? Uh, I, I don't ever wear shades at the poker table. Um, I'm trying to I'm think if I ever have. I'm just wondered. I, I'm, I'm the only time I might have worn shades at a poker table if I was at like an event somewhere uh, where it's sunny and I've been out on break with the shades on. I've just forgot to take them off when I come back in. And then 15 minutes into the level, I'm thinking, oh my God, I must look like a right idiot. <laughs> And then just yeah, slyly I'm, take I'm them off my head, slip them back in the pocket, ten. off we go. I like to keep it old school myself. Six card PLO flip, guys, in progress. Five cards on this occasion. Ten, seven, eight flop. You said a sevens out there for James. Stato has flopped the nuts here with the jack nine. Turn it as a jack. Don't see any queen nines out there as yet. Not flush draw for Jamie Duan. No and he finds it on the river. Jimmy Duan, welcome to the table, my friend. Straight in. Scoops 1.4. 1. 1.6. Lovely little welcome for Jamie. Imagine he just stood up now and left. That'd be awesome. <laughs> right, guys, take it easy. Good night. <laughs> we, we've all done that joke, haven't we? When we play in the cash game, we won like a big pot first of all, and we, all, we always say, yeah. All right, see you later, boys. I've left hey, the oven guys, on. Right. Go. Just remembered, left the oven on. Got to shoot. I like to take it a step further and go, guys, this is a shameless hit and run. I've enjoyed my time with you. I hope I wish you the best in your endeavours for the rest of the evening. I'll be heading. See you later. We would never do that. Of course we wouldn't. Too much moral fiber. We have a little look. The group chat. Long hair and snoods are also in the bin. Hoodies. Oh, come on. Hoodies are right, surely. Oh, hoodies are fine. I'm always in a hoodie when I'm at a poker yeah. table. Hoodie and a maybe, hat. Maybe, maybe not with like the, the, like the, with the hood up. That's what he's meaning, potentially. Right, Gabriel, back in the mixer. 
88 student plus one. Stand up game still active. Little yellow dot by his name. Round two, Jamie. Look at this. Did he jam? I <laughs> just rifled it. 6.4k. Just deciding. Let's run it. Gabriel. Now, it could be some stand up equity, so to speak, going on here, Jay. Because yeah. I think it's only Gabriel and one, potentially one or two more players. Might right, decide okay. to gamble. It's not a great hand, though, to want to call off shove. Uh, I think Jamie. Jamie's still in the stand-up game as well because he's just ah, come to the table. Yep, so the graphic's just not showing with the yellow dot because this is his first hand and uh, does just get it through with the king-queen, takes his seat instantly. Got it, got it, got it. <laughs> That's that one. Yeah. What a character. Oh. I'm sure he is having a great night. He'll have a great night when he watches the comms back, I'm sure. Been a brutal run for Stato this evening. Been on the wrong side of the deck. Yeah, one of those nights. Still time, though, to turn it around. Let's have 10k in front of him to work with. Raising Jack 10 of diamonds. Full round. Gabriel. Going to defend in the straddle. Both players still looking to get rid of that stand up game counter. Ace, five, deuce, one diamond. Gabriel picks up a piece. Middle pair. Stato with the betting lead. It seems like a nice clean continue. Fold out some king high and queen highs, and obviously going to be our board coming a sight with some nice backdoor equity. Yeah, it does size up a little bit. I thought it was 300, excuse me. It's around about 40% pot on the flop. And Gabriel not going anywhere. Starts with check call and off to the turn. Certainly not folding for one bet. Let's make the call. King of Diamonds is the action turn card. Instead, it's the Queen of Diamonds. Picking up additional equity stato. On from being close to drawing dead, up to 36% here. Yeah, and just mandatory double barrel here now for Stato against Straddle specifically. Going to have all this 5x, deuce x that we will fold out with the second street and can potentially line up a triple versus some one pair ace x holdings. Does follow your lead two thirds part and Gabriel once again finding himself in an extremely awkward spot. Yeah, it's, it's too incredi tough. Incredibly difficult to continue here, Jay. Yeah. One of, one of the worst we can have having a king in our hand as well is really bad uh, so I don't sure. think that we can ever continue here as Gabriel be some call if he could make it but wow wow he's Does finding it fine turn call oh. very very sticky I want to see like an off suit 7 see if Stato right. unloads this is super interesting because Stato may give his opponent an ace here a decent amount of the time once it goes call on turn. Agreed. does have a hand that could potentially try and make an ace fold, but we see Gabriel only two-thirds pot back. Yeah, it's great as well because, like, the ace jack we block that gets there and all of Gabriel's, like, two pair plus is just going to shove turn. So he's just capped at one pair here all the time. And now... The only improvement on the river would be specifically ace jack and we us with a jack in our hand removal to that holding so I can see Stato sending it. Yeah, has to. I know he has the best hand, but big fan of this from Stato. We just go after all these cap one pair ace X holdings and as I say, stack size in question on the turn. If Gabriel has two pair plus, he's just gonna go with it with the stand up game on and the, the pot side. So once he just plays cool, Stato aware, he's just always got a one pair holding and expects it to be ace X. 
So very nice move in here on the river, looking at it from a long-term perspective. I know we can see Stato's got the best of it, but really big fan of this line here from Andy Hume. Fantastic hand, very high level bluff from Stato. Of course, in his mind, believes he's bluffing. And credit to Gabriel J. He just knows his man is bluffing turn and potentially bluffing river. So we can see, that, of course, that Stato bluffing with the best hand. Great hand. Credit to Gabriel for taking that long, J. Almost found a hero call. Would have got the bad news. Great hand. Would have been great to see like the, the offsuit seven if Gabriel actually comes with call then because a lot of Stato's bluffs actually jumping in front of us on that river up the King Jack, Jack 10, King 10 type stuff. A very intriguing hand between the lads. Unless ECA says he ain't playing no more. And did you do it? Oh! Oh, 10-3, yeah, he bluffed. Oh, yeah, but I didn't tell you yet, but he was bluffing the best hand. Uh, you actually, I'm actually very lucky a diamond didn't come in that hand. I'd eat seven of diamonds. <laughs> the best hand. Obviously, you What's going on here, Jay? We're all in pre somehow. Yeah, I think stand up was on. Gabriel had 2k, he's just sent the king eight, and I think Carl's going oh, no. to spin with the king six, and Carl. Jumps the dream out crusher, he's had it again. <laughs> How does he do it? <laughs> Gabriel, two eight, three eight, three and four sevens. Excuse me, to improve. Can he find it? Of hearts on the turn, no good. He can't do it again, can he? River incoming. He does do it again. Ace of clubs on the river. Carl felt yet another player. Looked like 2.8k. Is that, Spins is that galore from Carl Shaw. Is that the fourth time tonight? He's had the three out oh, and found it. Word. All one time. Is he, is he excuse me, excuse me. He needs to pay. He needs to pay the stand-up game. Oh. Is he trying to get away? No, he's trying to leave, honestly. Like. Oh. Contro controversy, oh. Jay. Oh, wow. Hello? Hello? He's, he's took money off everyone, oh. so he's got to pay. The stand-up game? Okay, cool. Well, announce the table then, yeah. politely. You know, don't just walk off. Oh, Carl, not happy. Put your coat on. Just give him his money back. Just give him his money back, will you? Don't yeah, get me wrong, I want the 200 quid. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's so lucky for a minute, but that's how... That My I'll goodness, that's Jay, what a horrible feeling. You get three outers, all oh. back to the table. Excuse me, pal, 1.4k extra, please. <laughs> oh, it's brutal. What a rub down. <laughs> Oh, we've all been there, but the stand-up game is just as brutal as it comes when you get stacked and you're the last person standing. <laughs> you're joking. He's a proper <laughs> joker. People <laughs> loving it. Fuck them. Round two, Mauricio. <laughs> Looking extremely happy with himself, as he should. Probably the biggest winner in the game, Jay. Going to be up there, him and Carl. I think Jack's sporting a nice profit as well. I think Jack's in for original 5k buy-in. He's plodding along nicely this evening. Multi-way pot in progress. We wait for the graphics to catch up. Anthony in there. Jack with two cards in front of him. Flopping coming. Share it. Share it. <laughs> Seven, six, three, rainbow. Myself and Jay flying blind. Me, Action on Anthony, I believe, <laughs> is reaching. It's like a bet of three hundred pounds. Leave their heads up here, Jay. Jack in position on the 763. Reaches. 
makes the call. Definitely heads up. They're hoping just this hand with no hold cards. We'll see what occurs. Turn is a deuce. Relative blank. Anthony continues. It's like 500 pounds on the turn. Believe the pot around about 1.3k. Shade on her half. My eyes were quick enough. Looking at the pot pre-flop. Jack looks like he's going to give this one up. Lays it down. Anthony going to show. I hate to tell you, it was the best hand. Rings the bluff bell. We both had King. Well, did you have King what then? Because I, I, I was about to say that's close. There's a lot of low cards there if you yeah. argue that. It was who got the good. You, you, sorry, you got no, the flush draw as well. Yeah, yeah. The yeah. Sorry, oh, on the cash. turn, he gets oh, more from me. Ludo's going to appear from nowhere and just somehow be covering me. Look, I can't detect. Wait, someone check on Detective Carl. Is he down there? He's gone straight, Detective. That motherfucker owed me 200 pounds. And I'm getting it. <laughs> hey, catching no flight back home today. <laughs> oh, shit. That's funny. Folds round to the blinds, James. Going to complete for 40. Stato does the same for 25. Over to Ansley in the third blind. Going to put a bit of added juice on this. Stato gets out of the way, but James comes along with the Queen 10. And the talk about an overkill flop for Anthony Owo. Flops the nut flush and snap checks it behind and eight on the turn does bring in the double gutty for James Mahone and going to take initiative here after Anthony checked back the flop was the razor pre we'll have a lot of ace high king high type stuff Anthony continues to play at trappy I think he folded the best hand what he said and a very well timed slow down <laughs> on the river <laughs> from James. Doesn't do any more chips. Anthony <laughs> takes a small one. <laughs> Sat there with the nuts and you're betting into me. Yeah, give me money. <laughs> it's about time. It's about time. That's what I say. Wait, I'm not interested in that. Where's Detective Carl? I want to know how his detectives has gone on. He's chasing him down. He's chasing him past five guys, isn't he? Oh, oi, oi. 200 pounds, come back. Start him at like 30k. 200 quid, get back here. Fuck it up. Oh, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Always donation. Looks like folded. So James on the button opens for 350. 100 straddle on. So goes for three and a half X. Anthony in with the 5 3 suited. Jamie going to defend with the ace 5 off suit. Three to the flop. And King 10 8. Two diamond board. And seems like a nice one to go for some continues with as James, but opts to check behind to the 10 turn and I think it's actually a nice delay C bet card this one will play a lot of checks with our 10x on the flop so we'll have a fair amount of those in range and it's just going to get the two hands to fold I'm guessing but no Jamie wants to call once with the ace high here and three of clubs river going to go check check and the ace jack of James going to be good 
question, is it, when you got ace five? No, no, great. No, great. Ace what? No, ace what? Yeah. Yeah. No, great. That's a value play. <laughs> Well, I had 5-3, so yeah, I got there. The too tight, yeah. too tight. Is that button good, is it? Button is good, yeah. I guess it's, I know he's lost, but I guess it's a little bit unfair because everyone's paid him 200 quid all night, haven't they, so... He has to, you have yeah, to pay. Exactly. I mean, if you're in it once, you should be able to pay. You can't. Otherwise, because well, it's used. I feel like the rule should just be if you get stuffed, man. No, but that means yeah, but if, like you, if you've paid him, if you've paid him, yeah, yeah. 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 short stack yeah. and then go right. That's me, you know. Yeah. 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 All right. Well, just to clarify. If what he if you've paid the guy everyone eight hundred quid at the table? I'm taking a back for everyone that was at the table when I got stacked in that. Table, <laughs> so, just to clarify that. No way. Yeah, yeah. Really? Wow. He's already up. That's good. Who's what? They just sort of said uh, that they would pay if he ran out. We're getting paid, lads. <laughs> I mean, that's sort of good, but it's also crushed my dream to get my money back. Yeah, I'm one. afraid it's good for everyone. I'm actually glad they didn't. Pay. Good everyone but you. He just said it's happened before. That James opens cut off pocket sevens this time. Back to back opens. Anthony. Wants to get amongst it with the king five offsuit. Jamie defends the queen three offsuit. And that will draw for both Jamie and Anthony. Backdoor flush draw to go with Jamie's. And Anthony just coming out leading here for 250. Jamie going to make the call. And James now with the sevens. Difficult to overcall here and does make the quick lay down. Heads up to the turn. Is the six of hearts not changing anything? King five still best here for Anthony. That is going to use this five to fire another street here. Fairly small size in choice, 30% are. And Jamie going to call here with a queen three. I'm guessing Jamie with the idea of bluffing spade rivers as well. Doubt we're just going to be calling to hit our gut shot. So four of hearts on the end. And Anthony... Slowing down with a check and now over to Jamie. And does have this three of hearts in hand and looks like he's going to use it. Don't put it to, to work. I was just trying to get there. For just shy of a pot. Um, Anthony <laughs> will let it go. It the with the king high. Can't be hero in that hand. And nice that. little bluff from Jamie. That's a semi bluff. Look at that. <laughs> Sat there with the best land. <laughs> you need my five. Bluff Bell. Yeah, you, I need your three. Yeah. operation. Very well fun. played, Jamie Dewan. Yeah. Suck it, uh. All of a sudden, this lineup getting very, very tough. But Jamie there, extremely accomplished. Jack O'Neill, Stato, Carl Shaw, Mauricio. Three minutes. All extremely accomplished players. That's sort of 30 minutes or so, guys, of the stream. Hope you've enjoyed it. And if you are just joining, this is Friday Night Poker. 10, 25, 50 pound cash game action. With myself, Andrew Headley and Jay Harwood in the booth covering proceedings. Been a good one, Jay. Let's finish strong. Yeah, not been any like monster 30, 40k parts, but it's been some like very intriguing hands just good talking points seen some big bluffs go in some big calls seen Carl just happy to call off in certain spots with hands you expect to hit the mark and just find a way to get there been a very entertaining evening on Friday night poker Carl's just running alongside the A52 I was going to say Carl's in a car chase at the moment the players ask good and we've still got some time left ahead of us. Could still see the biggest pot of the night. Currently five-handed. It's James and Carl having a quick break. What are you, Andrew? Do you prefer a full ring, nine-handed? Or would you like a bit of six-max, eight-max? I always find the shorter the ring, the better. Hey, you know me, I'm always in there, mate, no matter what. I'd be happy with all 
probably like in the longer term more experienced sort of like seven eight seven eight yeah. nine handed than the shorter handed format i'd be happy to get in the mix with any number we just love the game mate me that's you it know. that's all it is i just think we're short the game that, that's why shorthand is better because i love the game so much when you're playing shorthanded you get to play more hands so right. you get you get involved more Whereas when you're full ring nine-handed and you've got to sit and fold for hours upon hours sometimes, it uh, can be quite a boring game. So is is that your excuse, Jay, for just playing like far too ridiculously <laughs> wide a range? Oh, you're like, I was only, only five of you. Yeah, only exactly. five of you sitting with me. That's exactly right. That's the excuce I try and use, at least. I try I've got to... six feet suited under the guard. What do you want from me? I've got to get in. I've got to get in there. <laughs> 7 8 suited for Jack in the cutoff. Raises to 150. And Stato seems like clear defend with King 10 offsuit. And he comes. King 10 6. Stato drills top two. Jack here, very interesting bluff candidate. Let's have a gut shot. to take a free one. Radar perhaps pinging, deciding. Stato has a piece of this. I'm going to take a free card. Four of diamonds rolls off on the turn. Jack improves to a double gut shot. Stato now going to announce himself. It's gone large. Looks like pot to me. I'm sure Jack would like to continue here, Jay, with double gutter, but again, facing over bet. It's it's difficult one, but I think one thing going for us on this board, we get to bluff Diamond Rivers, like on the four liner sure. to a diamond, when Stato are gonna be super wide from the third blind, like we're more inclined to have these high diamonds, but as you say, size is heapy from Stato four seven five yeah. into three three five. It's big, big bet from him. Hundred and fifty percent pop. Getting a pretty bad price. Stato targeting pairs with a diamond in them for the most part. And get as much money in as possible. Unfortunately for him, Jack close to the bottom of range. So we see Carl returning to the table. Aaron TM in the chat. You've hit the nail on the head. He says the only reason Jay plays six car PLO is because you can't play it more than seven handed. Exactly right. I like my leg room yeah, as well, Andrew. I like having, like, put me, put right. my elbows on the rail, just, like, lean back and not be playing footsie with anyone under the table. It's it's nice to have some space at the table as well. Very true. Being hemmed in, not a lot of fun. Kudos once more, our production team. Great table we have here on display. Plenty of room for the players. Hopefully, they take that as the green light to show us plenty of spicy hands as we approach the end of this evening's stream. Carl here, Jack Tenno, opening the action. Mauricio makes the call with the speed limit. Get fives. That's throwing it back, the speed limit. Hey, That's 20 I years these, old. Telling you. <laughs> I, can imagine you there. <laughs> I can imagine you have a little notebook with all the name of the hands. <laughs> I don't need a notebook, mate. I'm I'm like Rain Man, the Dustin Hoffman of the... Of the <laughs> UK scene. Right, four ways. Ace, deuce, four. Anthony, middle pair and a gutter. Jack, top pair. Mauricio with a gut shot of his own. Going to take this as the green light to start bluffing with fives. Target some better pairs. Clean out some equity. Have a potential to barrel off down the streets. That's one third pot. Make it too... Wow, Anthony. Very tight laydown. Surprised to see it, Jay. Middle pair with an immediate gut shot to the effective nuts. Lays it down. Yeah, club in hand as well, so yeah, surprised as you are. Very surprised. Jack, though, very easy. Flop call. Top pair. Take a turn. That turn. Eight of diamonds. Jack's still best here with the weak top pair. Mauricio now with the decision, Jay. Are we going to run this one? Let's slow it down. River pairs the board with another eight. Jack now going to be pretty confident his hand is best. 
No, the, it's not. It's not the fact that he gets stacked. It's the fact. Kind of difficult to go for value though. I think as Jack, yeah, does play check. I think we're just happy to bluff catch with this one. Uh, but Maurizio checking it back, and the A6 suit is going to be good for Jack O'Neill. Yeah, I like it. Maurizio potentially can beat a hand like a four a hand like Brick Clubs that gave up. In any event, both check. And Jack O'Neill takes down a small one. We haven't got a buzzer. Huh? Thunder game we've got in there. Like a knit game. Yeah, yeah, it was on that hand, right? Say, we did yeah, say yeah. it was on. It was on. All right. Give a, I, I mean, I wasn't really sure. Like, we did say it, but I didn't really know if it counted or not. Yeah. Like, whatever. Yeah. Give yeah. everybody a burner, except Jack. <laughs> Save money. Yeah. Yeah. We will save this. Button game, yeah. yeah. Buttons are out, I, I won the last one. Didn't, didn't want Jack to actually lose anyway. Yeah, so put the buttons out, the put the buttons out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Put the green <laughs> buttons out. Looks like stand-up game being announced once more. But I might be fast. Yeah, I'm not. I had A6. Stand up game indeed in play. Action on Jamie Dwan. Wakes up with pocket tens in the hijack. We come in for a raise. Jade over 300. It's at 375. Jack here. Pocket fives in the third blind. Stand up game, of course, on. Expect to just see cool as he does and offsuit high low king for Carl. He loves these. Is he thinking <laughs> about getting aggressive with it? He does love the old offsuit high low king X. Stand up game is on. It looks like just going for call in chips. And potentially surveying Jamie's stack. Shade over 6k behind. They yeah, do go three ways. And the case five pings the board. Middle set for Jack O'Neill. Middle pair for Carl. Over pair for Jamie. Of course, going to be aware. Monotone flop like this. Need to tread somewhat carefully. He does find flop check. Very shrewd player. Action now on Jack. Ace of hearts on the turn. Yeah, I'd love to see check here from Jack. I know it's not going to be working because Jamie will knuckle back, but try and look at it from that perspective. Jamie opening early position, a card that may elect to barrel on and will connect with it some of the time when he's opened the ace -X. But just coming out leading here as Jack goes to 700. And a tough one for Jamie now with the 10s faced with this turn lead. Always find it intriguing as well when we get a lead into us on a card that is supposed right. to be better for our range and not falling for it there. Jamie does just get out of the way with the Thames. Good fold. No action yeah, for it's Jack. Difficult to find too, too many natural bluffs from Jack here. Maybe something like sixes with a spade or something like this, Jay. Sevens with a spade. Maybe, yeah. Random maybe. spade hands. Doesn't happen too, too often. I'm with you. Would expect Jack often. As it stands, Jamie, disciplined lay down. And Jack, stand up game on, gets rid of his button. Best. I pay what 500 quid best. I pay the best five hand. Well, we can do one for five bills, me. Yeah. Oh. What, what five card? Practice. You want in? No, no, I already do the you five card. So ace is 11 as well. Yeah. So the best yeah. five card. I'll keep it. I can't Poker see hand, yeah? Just the hand. Yeah, 
So you're not yeah, it's best stud in your hands, right? Time for another five card PLO flip. I'm saying, I'm saying four, I've got 40. Yeah, and then that should take us into the final 30 minutes of action for this evening, thereabouts. Is that actually not? It must be. You can't beat 50. I don't believe it. Top set. Looks yeah. like yeah. Top set for James Mahog. Looks like Jack 6 5 old diamonds to me. Nine on the turn. Do you have the nut flush there, top right of your stream? Yeah, and gingerly pressed forward. So it's going to win unless there's a board pair. And it looks like a nine on the river, so the jacks yeah. are going to be good unless there's a seven, eight of diamonds lurking out there somewhere. Do you have a full house with nine, six? Not going to get it done. So jacks are good. Everyone counting their points for the side game. You ever played the, the point side game, Andrew? I have not, mate. What you got for me? It's 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 just as degen as pot fold in the in the first place because <laughs> because they're not gambling enough already. What they do, you add up the points in your hand. Ten uh, blackjack value. So ace is eleven, tens are ten, kings are ten, and basically whoever has the highest number of points will win. And I think Stato and Carl had a little grand on the side, and I saw Stato, I saw Stato sling Carl a thousand pounds. So I'm guessing Carl had the higher points in his hand. But they can't just enjoy the pot fold; they've got to add another side game in to incorporate more money. Whatever happened to just being a disciplined professional grinder, Jay? It's not those days thing. are done. Those it's days are finished. The it's points just not a game. Thing. The points game. I despair at these young bucks. I don't know what to tell you. I think this ge generation of poker players, we all like a bit of a punt, a bit of a gamble. We're not just sitting down at a poker table and grinding like a little flutter elsewhere. Saying that, I remember in Vegas this year, just walking, um, I can't remember where I was. It might have been, I think it was uh, the Horseshoe, actually, and just two full tables, Ultimate Texas Hold'em. Of ten, course. Ten, 10 UK regs got got the both tables covered, <laughs> drinking away, and I'm like, yep, that's how we do it. That's how we that's do it. That's a skill game, mate. That's a skill game. <laughs> the ultimate Texas Hold'em. Back to the action. Carl, ace, queen suited. <laughs> and he's going to go for a little trap here against Mr. Dwan. Not going to work. Jimmy checks his option, and well, talk about solid flops. Carl flops the stones. Fortunately for him, Jamie, nine high, no club. Carl goes for full pot. Jamie, another one of those players, just hates folding. You know he wants to get in the mix, Jay, but nothing working for him there. Pretty shrewd limp, I think, with the stand-up game on Jay, right? Like that a lot. Certainly potential for Jamie just to go after it, unfortunately yeah. for Carl. Yeah, nothing doing. Awareness of the situation as well, and and as well, we want to get more chips in the pot. And if we raise, it's unlikely we'll have some free bets, Jamie. But just going to play core cool fold a lot of the time. So by going for the limp re-raise, we do make that pot big up with a premium holding. Is this accurate, Jay? Is everybody winning except Stato? I think so. And obviously, uh, Gabriel done a fair chunk before he left, and uh, you obviously got to recall and Scally. Scally also, yeah. But other than that, yeah, everyone's sporting a profit. Carl and Maurizio, top of the shop, 13K and 12.5K, and respectively. Stato will look to reverse that trend as we approach the end of the stream. Open here from Anthony, Queen 3 of Hearts. Round 2, Carl, pocket 6s in the big blind. Here he comes, going to bump this one up. At 1.8 to go. That is a meaty three bet, that one. Right. Full 6x from Carl. And does the trick with the sixes, gets Anthony out of the pot. I think recognizing stand up game still on, button open. You put the pressure back on, takes it down. Uh, 
short term loan, guys. We get paid. Don't worry. Where do we get that from? We'll obviously be spending that on a new this washing machine next week. <laughs> See you one, folks. We'll be looking at that on next week's show. Yeah. See you two, folks. See you three and four, folks. See you the first time again. So action around to the blinds. Jamie and the big stand-up game still on. Going to make this 300 to go. And Maurizio, offsuit high-low Asex. Going to get aggressive. Nice candidate to choose. Makes it 1K. And it should be doing the trick here versus Jamie. Gets it through. Shows the ace three and will get rid of that chip. I've been very impressed with Maurizio. Yeah, he's Made that a... really, really big bluff with the 10 3 of diamonds multi way earlier. It's winning a big one. Seems to be very aware, Jay, of what's going on around him. Picks a nice combo there to pick it up with the 3 bet bluff. Yeah, and uh, mainly is an MTT player. Plays like all the 25Ks, 50Ks online, the big, big stuff, and does dabble in cash from time to time. But I know he's a beast in the MTT streets. Don't often get to cover him at a cash game table but been thoroughly impressed tonight yeah, I would echo those sentiments action now on Anthony the hijack has the Obamas pocket fours here he goes again <laughs> yeah I got, I, got, I got a nickname for all of them don't <laughs> worry any commentator worth their salt my friend has got some Anthony's gone huge, 700. Gets it through a hand as strong as King Jack of Hearts. Nicely done from Anthony. Gets rid of his button. Yeah, good feeling that when you can just get a raise and take through to take your seat in the stand-up game. Not having to battle down the streets. <laughs> Looks like the floor potentially announcing... How many hands will be left? I normally 100% would, but I've got to be up early tomorrow, man. Because I know if I stay playing, I'm here till four. <laughs> yeah, it's all right. It's good for you. I know. I'm more likely. I want, I want to. I'm a great. I'm 24/7, bro. Three, four, four. I'm international. Remember when China wake up, we should be in bed. <laughs> Not for me. I'm having conference calls at fucking 4 a.m. in the morning. Yeah, man. Yeah. Over that to James calls in the big. <laughs> James the one opening King 10 from the button. And Stato here, ace too soft uh, from the third blind. I've got to go there soon as well. stand up chip on. Can't see him folding. May even think about getting aggressive here with the old offsuit high low and, right do... and here he comes <laughs> exactly that you know I mean? have been informed Jay so last safe, three it? hands he have been know. announced so this is hand one that way flying that way okay. interesting <laughs> decision point now for Jamie going to be aware <laughs> Stato can be squeezing somewhat yeah, wide yeah. and he picks up two calls I here we go Come back, Vegas, come back, family holidays. It's a 4.5 in the middle. In and out everywhere. And I do like a UK summer. Look at this, 765. Yeah, like James just drills like top like set. Yeah, yeah. yeah, and just going to have to be a shutdown here on this board as Stato. Not much we can do. And over to Jamie on the button. And it looks Maybe like he's deciding <laughs> to go <laughs> for it happens. here, Jay. The thing is, if I, if I weren't such loving roulette and that, I'd probably be all right. Do you know what? They play a game there. Where James Vegas doesn't Vegas find the slow game. play, Jay. It's like it's race. Yeah, I think it's difficult to find the slow play when Jamie leaves himself 2.6k back and it's a, right. it's a small percentage of the pot and I'm just going to make the assumption once Jamie bets his flop he's got a piece that he wants to go with and I'm guessing James comes to that same conclusion uh, but will be two quick folds and James Mahone will take a nice one with the top set. Let me get you a Corona. 
That was it, 15 Coronas deep, and I was Grim supposed to be going hard. <laughs> situation to be in for Jamie. Vegas. A little bit of Hollywood, like you would this. imagine, Jay. This would be the hero <laughs> call to end all chips. hero calls. Like, yeah, come on, we're going now. I was like, oh, I don't know if I'll make it. I'm not a big drink. I'm not a big beer drinker. I'm more of a whiskey sour guy. Or I'm not a big drinker. I love whiskey like sours and that. Does get out of the way. Nice pick up nuts? for James. Seven. Yeah, yeah run out. Oof. Gets the straight. You get there, don't you? You get there, don't you, with an eight? Chop, chop. Oh, go on, eight. Can I have a you, please? any sugar? appear i got a little ahead of myself jay amongst all the excitement got we got 30 minutes left guys 30 minutes oh, left of the stream oh. so friday night poker continues nice yeah love to see it you shouldn't have said it put yourself under the he pressure likes, he loves yeah. the pressure he loves it, <laughs> he loves it. That is the way to do it, to be fair. <laughs> that is the way to do it. Stand-up game on. Jamie deciding just to send this in. Finds an ace. And here we go. Jack O'Neill finds pocket tens, Jay. Gonna make the quick call. Jamie in danger of being felted here. You have to find one of the remaining aces in the deck. Or some kind of flush or straight. It's not been the night for the best hand holding, though. Like, seems like we've seen a lot of get there so far oh, this he's, evening. He's barking it in advance. <laughs> Scenes. Here got, we go. I've got to make up for Jamie last week, right? It's very true. Here we go. A7 looking to run down the tens. No good thus far. Queen 6 4 rainbow. And he just drills it on the turn. Jamie Dwan finds the ace of clubs. They are running it twice. So Jamie yeah, will get to take his seat. With the opportunity to chop this one up. Another queen high board. Queen for deuce. Chop looking most likely. Still a couple of aces in this deck. That's not one of them. King of clubs turn. Just give a seven. Seven on the end. Just, just, just a little seven. Four for the seven. Little seven. Mm. River incoming. Nine of diamonds. Jamie, gratefully, pulls back his 2.6k. I'm going to chop this one up. Yeah, but a bit of a function of what I was saying earlier. <laughs> Starting the hand with just over 2k. So get to play a lot of open jams with the stand-up game on with holdings with good removal. Unfortunately, running into the tens there it does end up getting there to find a chop after running it twice. But we'll lose that chip in front of him. That seems pretty nice, especially if you get to run it twice, right? Occasionally, yep. when you get called. Fade in that 1600 payout. Worth the price of admission. Cards back in the air. Action back on Jamie. Queen 4-0. Oh. Right to like, Jack. Yeah, yeah, seems, carry on, mate. Seems like it's settled a little, Andrew, hasn't it? The last sort sure. of 20, 30 minutes back end of the stream. Not seeing the carnage that was ensuing... A couple of hours ago. But stand up game still on. And we still got 30 minutes to go. So hopefully we can find a big eat for the final 30 minutes of the stream. Jack content to limp fold this one. Carl gets rid of his button. I 
have tweeted, new player alert, Dwan takes his seat on Friday Night Poker. I reckon they're trying to trick a few people into watching it there. Yeah. I reckon they're trying to pretend it's your brother. You actually? Next on Mauricio. 10 3 0. James, it's a very nice, profitable evening thus far. It's out of the way with A7. Round two, Stato. Out of the way. Anthony finds pocket sixes here in the small. Anthony, one that has steadied the ship the last couple of hours. Frustrating start for him, but kept his head chipped up a little. Not losing as much as he was earlier. Every time I have pockets. Yeah, once again, takes it down. Seven hundred pound raise. Oh yeah, now I can go for piss. <laughs> Die for it. <laughs> Action on James here, ace four O. Stato here, stand up game on, gonna get after it with the ten four. And to Mauricio. Jack nine off. The defend from the straddle. King three seven rainbow. Jack I best. Of course can't know it. Pretty heavy C bet. Texture. Stato gets it done. Shows the ten four. And that button's quickly being relinquished. Can't be many left active here, Jay. Uh, Jamie's got one, and I think um, Mauricio. Mauricio. Looks like thought... Jack as well. Just in time. So way back. back. Here we go. Stato looking to recoup. Finds the butchers. Pocket Kings in the hijack. Action on Anthony. Ace eight of clubs. Clicks in call. As does Jack. Interesting spot. Could have considered squeeze. He needs to get rid of that button, but does decide to call. Here comes Carl and Jamie. He has done it, Jay. He's rifled it in. Yeah, Riding. Stand up game on. Dead money. It's time to put it in. What a spot this is for Stato. If he loses this one, Jay, time to go home. Well, well I don't think there's an ace left. Have we just seen four going to the mark, or is it three? I think it's three. Three, okay. So he's literally got a fade or one out here, Stato. We, <laughs> well, we said he didn't that. manage it last time. <laughs> We've said that before, though. What a spot for Andrew, though. Any universe that Carl Shaw decides that this is the time to spin oh, the know. wheel once more. Action on Anthony. Can't imagine... He's going to flick this in for 8.5k. What a pop we would have in you. Oh if my he goodness. did, though. thought he was flicking it in. Surely not. Oh, look at the watch. Quick look at the watch. He knows there's not long left. Oh, I need to pass. 
Let's get out of the way. As does the rest of the table. Stato has found himself in fine shape. Kings against the ace four of Jamie. Do you know it's only one ace this guy just know it's coming though felt like it was my time 6k or so in the middle the dead money jack 9 7 kings still holding no back doors available for jamie so it is looking for that one remaining ace Didn't find it on the turn one card to come no good. They are running it twice, Jay. So we get another chance to find it. That's a positive. That for some positive. kind of diamond or heart flush. There is aces find that somewhere. ace. Oh, that wow. flop is as dead oh, as it wow. gets. Yeah, yeah, down to running 5-3 or the backdoor clubs. For a chop. Oh, well, there is the five. <laughs> the five. Can't happen, surely. Don't do it to him. Don't do it. Oh! Ooh. Crossbar, it's <laughs> on the river. Justice for Stato, finally finds a hold with the best of it. <laughs> Table very much enjoying the discomfort. Nice hand, Stato. Yeah, good to see Stato hold for once. I think that may be one of the first pots he's actually scooped tonight. Chopped loads, lost a few, but taking all the spoils there. As we see Jamie and Carl negotiate a reload. That club wasn't yeah, that sure. even that second board, it kills me when the two comes. Right, you you you, well, yeah. Oh, I I know, yeah. So I'd have had them yeah. I would have thinking, oh yeah, all right, get my money back at least. Boom, two comes and kills my dreams. I like eight. It's never gonna eight stop. To it's gone. So heads up, is it? Oh no, no, oh, no plenty no, no. to go, plenty yeah, to go. Yeah. Sit back, relax, and watch the action. Can I have a coat, please? Uh, like a, a bottle with ice. I'll take a normal one, please. Action on Anthony. Finds his sixes once more. Mixes this in a limp for 100 pounds. 100 the straddlers. Jamie completing, and here we go, Maurizio, ace-king suited, out of the big. Such a dreamy spot as well when there's only three left in the stand-up game because we're never going to be given credit for a strong hand. Let's bump it up, 600 to go. Anthony with the sixes, calling chips in hand. Dwan. 3-4 off, not strong enough to continue. Luck, it, Anthony and Mauricio yeah. going heads up. Silent assassin, they call him. Silent assassin. And that flop is all Mauricio. Ace, Jack, 10. Top pair, gut shot to Broadway. Anthony just with the under pair. And Mauricio finds a flop check. Looking to induce some bluffs, Jay. A little bit of pot control in there also. Anthony does get a free one. Mauricio improving two trips. Of course, knows his hand is more than good enough. Gonna know he has the effect of nuts here, Jay. Yeah, especially once flop goes check, check. Anthony just always betting two pair plus. So now we're gonna have to start trying to get some value from here. And there will be a lot of Jack X and 10X in there that wanna check back flop as Anthony that we will get one street from. And talk about that. Talk about getting a street from the under pair. Sixes make the call here for Anthony. And that is counterfeit central on the river. So playing the board as Anthony here. And Maurizio with a boat. And a interesting spot. Yeah, it's a great river as well because there will be Jack X in the range of Anthony. And once we check flop, may not look like we have an ace from his perspective. 
Yeah, I wondered if we ever find a check. Look to induce some bluffs, you know, from a Don't King shit. 10. Well, King 10's not going to bluff, Don't right, with shit. King High, but you hear me. Like a 9-10 suited type that decided to call turn. Some type of a Queen 9. Maybe a Jack really? bets itself. Oh, it's tough to find in game, though, of course. Not going to give our opponents pocket sixes here, Jay, on the turn. Yeah, of course. Expect their range to be the heart draw, the spade draws, and then the, the jack X and 10x. Uh, Anthony just with the board. Obviously cannot call. Shows him face up. And Maurizio has to show. Ace king. Sorry, ace king. I was wrong. Ooh, little six on the end. Ooh. Gets rid of his stand-up button. So I believe we're heads up in the stand-up game. Jamie Dwan against Jack O'Neill. My name needed to be Vinny to hit that six on the end, didn't it? Thank you. Needed to. Cheers, bro. Thanks for that. Cheers. Final flip. Thanks, man. Final flip. No final flip of the evening. Yeah, yeah, 200 pounds in. Off we go. Around about 15 minutes left, guys, on tonight's stream. A little reminder, if you like tournament poker, World Series of Poker Circuit Series has been underway all week here at DTD. Self and Jay will be back on Sunday. Coverage of the main event, final table. Very much looking forward to that one. UK poker booming at the moment. Expect to see a bunch of crushers in the mix. Please do join us. Excited to cover it. As we wind down tonight's episode of FNP. Yeah, you'll be in your element this uh, Sunday, Andrew. All the deep runs you've been having lately in the MTT streets. I'm sharp at the moment, mate. Just, just needing a bit, a bit more run good. Just over that line. That's all it is. Oh, it's so brutal. You'll get there. You'll get there. I will get there, my friend. In the tag team event with Jay Harwood in the summer. <laughs> That would be we great. haven't forgotten, by the way, anybody who tuned in the other day. We said we were going to give away a little percentage. We're going to negotiate that off stream. And when I say negotiate, I'm going to get Jay to pay out of his half. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> but uh, we'll have plenty of Friday night poker before we both head to Vegas. Yeah. So it will be on one of the future streams when we do that giveaway. Absolutely. So six card flip. Here we go. 10, 10, 3. Is he a 10 in front of James? 10-3 I got. Wow. Oh, you. 10 in front of Carl. Seven. Oh, they both flopped. Carl flopped a boat. Has a three. No. No good. 10-3 and I got 2 is a five. And 10 3 is going to be good because there's no 10-6 or five for James. So Carl has to have the goods. They improved the 10-5. What a fair few of these flips tonight has caught. Honestly, what a life. Might as well call it the Carl Show. I think they do, don't they? You know, you're in trouble if you're some poker player. If he's running good, you're really under it. I know. I've seen you. I've seen you. Nice little flip win for Carl. When, when Vinny put you in the blender, mate, you were a few. Yeah. Boom! 60 bucks. Right, let's go. <laughs> I was like, yeah, he's fucking pissed. He is pissed. I was ready. He was ready. Vinny was just sweeping everyone, mate. And it was just pissing the whole time. It's so total when you put the yeah. money in like 18 grand and then the chips already landed there. I've even put it over. Oh, I feel like bro. pulling it around, but I feel like pulling it back. He's a madman. <laughs> He's a joker, though, videos. He is a joker. We need him at the table, man. Yeah, Vinny's good for him. Mm. He's good for the table. They're going to be an open from Carl. Couple of threes. From the cutoff, Jamie Dwan still in this stand-up game, so he going to make the call with Jack O'Neill out, out the pot and does flop the trip fives with position as well, and checked over to him. And this is just the dream spot when we're heads up for the stand-up game because we're meant to go off the pots and try and win uncontested. Sitting here with a monster. 
Absolutely, does come with half pot. Very likely that Carl, the only player who could potentially provide any resistance, does he decide he wants to see a turn? Does indeed flick it in. I can understand it, Jay, as you said. Do I'm going to be wide here? Oh, no. It is <laughs> the call. He hasn't found it. Sure show this oh, evening. Oh, my word. Where on earth has this three come from on the turn? And Jamie Dwan, so unfortunate. Going to be getting stacked. Going to need to boat up himself on the river. Goodness me. Carl Shaw drills the two outer. Jamie thinks he's trapping here or has his man on the hook. Little does he know. The hook is lodged deep in his gullet. River is the seven of hearts, inconsequential. And Jamie with just three quarter pop back. Very difficult to imagine that these chips don't find their way into the middle, Jay. Yeah, I think we have the jam. Like Carl can still have some over pairs that check for way. Can have some AX in there as well. Maybe the backdoor flush get in there. AX of hearts are a thing. And like Carl going to be floating hands like Jack nine suited, Jack ten suited of hearts. On the flop, right. but I think I, I I think we've got a jam here. Andrew, go for value with the trip fives. Be some check back if he can find wow, it. And he, he does finds the find check it. back. He does what a what? sensational check from Jamie <laughs> Dwan. <laughs> what a check. <laughs> and Carl, Paul, he had his customer, but uh, Jamie, maybe a bit wary of that backdoor heart draw getting there. Eight extra hearts is a thing, as well as some of the floats that Carl will have on the flop. But very nice check. How he's not gone broke that hand. Brilliant, brilliant stuff from Jamie. Well played. Finds a very, very disciplined check. And the happiest man in the room, Mr. Jack O'Neill. You just saved 1,400 quid for the time being at least. He updates here, guys. Biggest winner of the day. Well, Carl Shaw, Jade under 17K. Maurizio and Jack, both with five-figure profits. James plus 8.2k, Anthony in small profit, and Stato hasn't been his night, ran very poorly overall, still around 20k in the hole. What a hand that is, by the way, Jamie Dewan, well played. Very accomplished, disciplined river check, Thanks, cards back in the air, Stato, and Ace King, come in for a raise from the big blind. Makes it 3.50. Anthony here. 6.4 suited. Lurking behind Jay. Jack with King-10 suited and heads up in the stand-up game. There and uh, one that can definitely get aggressive here is Jack. These suited broadways at this stack depth definitely will here find their go. way into the free bet range. Certainly difficult to fault him. Looks like 1.4 or so. 1.5, Stato, licking his lips, you would imagine, the yeah, prospect right. here. Just always play four bet here, Stato, just such a higher percentage of the time, we just pick up £1,800 uncontested. Jack is supposed to be aggressive in this spot, heads up in the stand-up game. Uh, back over to Stato, I'm probably going to make this around 3k here with the ace-king. Did he jam? No. It's like 3,600. Makes it 38. So slightly more meaty than expected. Goes with a 2.5x four bet size in with position. And now back over to Jack with the King Ten of Hearts here. Ever a potential, Jay, to level yourself here. Stato knows I'm supposed to be light. This is the thing. Stato put in a third of his chips, though. This, like, exactly a third of his chips Stato's put over the line. So that's kind of the problem. I don't think we generate enough folds. Sure. So it does just make the discipline approach and going to move on to the next hand. That's Jack O'Neill. 
Nice little pick up for Stato. As he continues to climb the mountain. Let's just quit the bottom. Fuck it. I don't want to run off on this bottom, man. What's going on today? Yeah, don't worry. Don't forget about it. Finishes, it finishes. There's nothing we can do. What's going on here? Well, now, down to the last few hands, guys, of the evening. Another great one. Hope you've enjoyed it. We certainly enjoy bringing the coverage to you here from Dust Till Dawn in Nottingham. Friday night poker going to be a staple of the card room over the next months and years. Jamie Dwan opening here. Queen Jack from the hijack. Makes it 300 to go. 12 o'clock tomorrow. Why is it three bags? Wow, the judges are I know, I'm very surprised to see it. <laughs> Carl sets him in with those threes once more. Thank goodness. And Jamie decides now's the time to go for it. Gotta get a hand one to avoid paying at 1400. Aaron Jack O'Neill not involved here, but it's a 1400 pound sweat for him, the coin flip. Oh my, oh my word! That will the basically case three. the case three. <laughs> case three drills the flop, improves to a boat. My goodness, Carl Shaw, how do you do it? And a little rub down queen on the river. And so freeze for Carl. Another set, and Jamie and Jack will still battle it out for the last stand-up game of this evening. I think we've only got a few more hands left anyway, guys. Finishing up in around five minutes' time. See if we can squeeze a couple more in. I might not even get to see in. who wins it, Jay. Yeah, I know. We all drink that. That's what it is, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, lads, come on, Jamie has run very poorly <laughs> since arriving at the table. Made that sensational check back with trip five. <laughs> Fortunately, not rewarded. Loses the flip to Carl. Yeah, it's such a brutal game, isn't it? We make a phenomenal check back to save ourselves 3K. And then two hands later against the same guy, he stacks us for that 3K. It's like no justice in this game whatsoever. Absolutely right. But we live for the pain, Jay, really. Yeah, we love it, really. <laughs> How much? Not in the moment, but when you reflect and look back. I mean, not really. You hate that too, but you get me. We come back for more time and time again. Riccio, 9-10 suited in the hijack. He comes 3.25 to go. Jack O'Neill defending from the big 7-8 of diamonds. Now to Jamie, has reloaded again, does complete both members of the stand-up brigade involved. Nine in the window, followed by a jack and a three, all spades, Maurizio flopping best, middle pair, nobody with spade in hand. All three players check. Fourth spade materializes. Some opportunities here. For the stand-up players to potentially bluff. And you know that Jamie loves it. He's going to go for it. Oh, no, it's a Maurizio, Maurizio here. Can be drawing dead versus a bare spade hand. And, and does let it go. And Jack check. just going to have to I think I folded the forfeit the 8-7 here. And unfortunately going to cost him 1,400 quid. As Jamie will take his seat for the stand-up game. That would have been a bit of theatre. A little check raise with 7-8 of diamonds. Just, just rub it in your opponent's face when they lose the stand-up game. You know I like the pain. Love it. We all do. So guys, last few hands in progress. Hope you've enjoyed your Friday night. Looking ahead to the weekend. What a better place to spend it, Jay. Chilling out, watching some high-stakes poker. Yeah, it's been a good evening again, and card room booming as well with the WSOP event running alongside this evening. And as Andrew's mentioned, we will be covering the final table of that event on Sunday. So we'll be back for more in the booth.
see Anthony here. Ace Jack opens from the button. For 4x, raise and take it. Not seen too many of those. Ace Jack on the last end, eh? Didn't even get paid a fucking dime. Not a cent. Not a fucking cent. I'll just stay till the button. But I'm gone as soon as whoever loses this button. Yeah. Said yeah, that before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And there we have it, guys. That was indeed the last hand. So all that remains to do is thank you all for your view for your viewing, as always. Thank you very much to everybody. And Jay, thank you to you, my friend. Any final thoughts on tonight's stream? Same as always. Really great stream, entertaining. Uh, Carl was on fire tonight when he's running. Good hard man to stop. Good comeback from Anthony Owo and uh, unfortunate five, six hours for Stato. Could not get anything going, running bad, how it goes sometimes in this game. But another entertaining stream for us to cover and looking forward to Sunday. Yeah, absolutely, my friend. Echo those sentiments entirely. Thanks very much, everybody. Myself and Jay will be back, as we said before, on Sunday. Final table coverage of the World Series of Poker Circuit main event. So please do come back and join us for that. And that's it from us. Until next time on Friday Night Poker, we'll see you soon, guys.